It's time now for high school soccer from FM 95.3 WKLM. Coming up next, it's Before the Kick with Jake Seidel. Right here on Hometown Radio, FM 95.3 WKLM. And welcome to New Albany, Ohio at Veterans Field. It's time for some district championship soccer action as the Highland Hawks travel down to face off against Worthington Christian and the Warriors. Winner of this game continues their season. The loser will end it here at Veterans Field. We'll have a quick time out here in just a little bit, but you know, thank you for tuning in. And don't forget, we'll have the boys matchup coming up later this evening as well. That game's scheduled for a 7 o'clock kickoff. We'll start the pregame show for the girls matchup right now here on WKLM. Stop in all this week for these great deals at Rody's IGA Marketplace. Get 81% lean ground chuck for $3.49 a pound, beef loin bullet strip steak for $8.99 a pound, and a three-pound bag of balanced assorted variety apples for $2.99. They also have beef shoulder bullet English roast for $3.99 a pound, beef shoulder bullet English steak for $4.19 a pound, and pork shoulder western ribs for $1.79 a pound. Don't forget to call 674-7075 for meat, cheese, and party platters at Rody's IGA. If you need hauling done, then go with a place that will leave a legacy at Legacy General Hauling. Whether it's commercial or residential, Legacy General Hauling is an independent contractor allowing them to do custom hauling for any of their customers. They have semi-truck and trailers for hauling equipment, telehandlers, man lifts, and more. They can even spread gravel for driveways. They have single-axle, A-tandem, and tri-axle dump trucks. That's Legacy General Hauling on County Road 201 between Middlesburg and Berlin. Give them a call at 330-204-5003. That's 330-204-5003. Untangling your headphones, finding the right remote, saying goodbye to your favorite shirt that hasn't fit in 10 years. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto Owners works with independent agents who live in your community and answer when you call, so you can worry about more important things, like finding a new favorite shirt. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Orville, Wadsworth, and Worcester today at HummelGRP.com. This is Noah Clark, former quarterback for the West Holmes Knights. Last year was an unforgettable season. Our success was a result of great coaching and a group of players that all worked together for one goal, winning the next game in front of us. We were a team that gave it all we had every Friday night. If you have any electric motor or power transmission needs, there's a great team of guys at Clark Fowler Electric in Worcester. They will work together to get your electric motor back on the job, whether it's replacing bearings, a complete rewind, or selling you a new motor. See their website, ClarkFowlerElectric.com. Go Knights! Are you finally ready to start hearing better? Hear Inc. has been serving the Holmes County area for over 20 years and believes everyone deserves exceptional hearing health care. This is audiologist Dr. Justin Garion, and we will provide a complete range of hearing services, including hearing aid fitting and repair and other hearing loss solutions. The Hear Inc. Berlin Clinic is located inside East Holmes Family Care on Dalby Lane or on the web at hearinc.com. Call us at 234-224-1124. That's 234-224-1124. Hear Inc. Join the conversation. Get financial solutions when you need it from Dave Schlabel Financial Services. After winning six state championships as a head basketball coach, Dave Schlabel knows that planning, preparation, and hard work can lead to success. And the same can be applied to your financial future. Whether you are a young adult, individual, family, or a business, Dave Stable Financial Services will establish financial goals and income protection. Contact Dave Stable Financial Services at 893-1900, located at 4585 State Route 39, Millersburg. Securities offered through ON Equity Sales Company, member FINRA SIPC. 
HR Realtors has joined Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, giving you even more options for your real estate needs. As your local market experts, Howard Hanna has been known as trusted realtors who take special care of your real estate opportunities. Visit them on the web at howardhanna.com or call them at 674-7610. Plus, don't forget that RES Auction Services can create a tailored strategic marketing plan to help you achieve maximum results. Visit res.bid for the latest auctions or call 833-765-373. Howard Hanna Real Estate Services and RES Auction Services on Glen Drive in Millersburg and visit RES at the Auction Yard on Fry Road in Worcester. They're stronger together and here for you. Pomerade Hospital is hosting their 13th annual Christmas Festival on December 2nd from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and December 3rd from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be beautifully decorated trees, wreaths, centerpieces, and more, all for purchase. Pomerade Hospital would like to thank all of their sponsors, Pomerade Medical Staff, Weaver Custom Exteriors, The Bargain Hunter, The Berlin Grand Hotel, Provia, Autumn Healthcare, Trit Party of Four, J. Miller & Son Excavating, Charm Builders, and Chance 2 Transport. Stop by the Christmas Festival at The Berlin Grand Hotel on December 2nd and 3rd. For more information, call 330-674-1584. It's time now for Before the Kick, brought to you by Hobbins Insurance of Millersburg. Are you covered? Hi, this is Larry Hobrin from Hobrin's Insurance Service in Millersburg and Sugar Creek. We don't believe in selling our customers the cheapest insurance coverage. We believe in selling you the right insurance coverage. At Hobrin's Insurance Service, we won't sell you a minimum limits policy when you have a home or business to protect. We'll set you up a policy that offers you complete coverage for the long-term peace of mind. See our full list of services on our website at hobrinsinsurance.com or call us at 674-9091 or 1-800-340-3767 for a complete insurance coverage quote. Jake Saddle here with Highland soccer coach Connor Lee and coach uh, coming off a great win down at uh, the Columbus School for Girls uh, to move on to this round. Today you got Worthington Christian. How much uh, did you learn from the Columbus School from the girls game that will help you tonight? Yeah, you know, I think uh, we came out really aggressive and played well the first 15 minutes. We're up 2-0 um, and just kind of held on to that and played defensively the rest of the game and, and squeaked one out. So, you know, I think it's important we start well and, and finish well this game. Your offense and your defense seemed to start very well in that game, and then you let up that goal late in the second half. But uh, your defense really seemed like any time something was coming close, you were just able to clear it out of the defensive third. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's it's what you got to do in a game like that. You're, you're the team that's up, so the other team gets to be a little bit more aggressive, and you just kind of got to hang on and make sure you get it out of dangerous positions whenever you can. Hey, Coach, another team you normally wouldn't see until the regional tournament tonight uh, with uh, – Worthington Christian how much do you know about them and what are you expecting uh, they're a really good program uh, you know state ranked most of the season um, number one seed in the central district for a reason uh, so you know we respect them as a program and, and we're expecting a good one okay coach thanks for your time tonight and good luck thank you more to come on the pregame show here on WKLM before the kick has been brought to you on WKLM by Hobbins Insurance in Millersburg Have you been to downtown Millersburg lately? Hi, this is Judy from Historic Downtown Millersburg. I would like to invite you to stop in and see what's new in town. Troyer's Sweet Shop is the happening place. Get 10 of your nearest and dearest together and make an appointment to hand dip your own Buckeyes. Or check out our hip new store, Urban Farm Girl. Or maybe you feel like you need to let your creative juices flow. Take a class at Jackpot Pottery. Hip, happening, and creative. Downtown Millersburg. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Winesburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Winesburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Winesburg at 359-5421. Or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Weinsburg and Berlin. 
Are you tired of wasting money on your home energy bills? Let home siting contractors show you just how affordable replacing your windows can be. Provia has developed a reputation within the vinyl replacement window industry for having the best features and options. The Provia Endor and Aspect windows are as stunningly beautiful as they are energy efficient and over time will pay for themselves. Call home siting contractors today to set up your free in-home evaluation by calling 888-725-6619. It's never too early to start thinking about Christmas, and at the Jewelry Store, they're well stocked for your Christmas shopping needs. What could be better this Christmas than a birthstone bracelet that you can find right in their showroom? With your choice of birthstones, you can add to go along with your matching necklaces and earrings for a great gift this Christmas. What else, you ask? How about their selection of new diamond hoop earrings and stackable fashion rings? Shop early for Christmas at the Jewelry Store, 97 West Jackson Street in historic downtown Middlesbrough. Located in the rolling hills of Holmes County, Kime Home Center is the destination and trusted source for your home building and woodworking needs. They are dedicated to caring for each project like they care for their own. Kime offers free next day delivery on an unmatched selection of stock items within their local delivery area. Shop a growing selection of products available online at kime.express or call to place your order today. Yes, you heard right. You can place your local delivery order online at kime.express. Kime built on trust since 1911. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. If you're in the market for farm equipment, parts, or service, there's one place that can handle it all. Buckeye Farm and Garden is your one-stop shop for all your farming needs. Located off State Route 39 between Millersburg and Berlin. Buckeye Farm and Garden specializes in sale and service of tractors, balers, pillars, box blades, brush hogs, feeders, spreaders, hay rakes, and much, much more. Check out their inventory at BuckeyeFarmandGarden.com or call to set up an appointment at 330-674-0456. Buckeye Farm and Garden, your farm equipment. Equipment connection. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent, Hobrin's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. And welcome back to New Albany. Jake Seidel with you at Veterans Field. And so we get you set up for this matchup featuring the Highland Hawks and the Worthington Christian Warriors. We'll go ahead and get you these starting lineups first. For the Highland Hawks, the visiting team on the scoreboard tonight coming in with a record of 14-3-1 on the season. For head coach Connor Lee, they'll line up like this. The senior goalkeeper will be number zero, Idzela Guzman, coming off a 2-1 win at Columbus School for Girls in the semifinal. A senior defenseman wearing number four, Kylie Lapp, a uh, freshman midfielder wearing number seven, Chloe Beach. A junior forward wearing number eight, Lydia Mast. A senior forward wearing number 10, Kate Kaufman. And a senior midfielder wearing number 11, Lydia Weaver. A junior forward wearing number 14, Emily Gingrich. A sophomore midfielder wearing number 18, Kaylin Miller. A sophomore midfielder wearing number 19, Bryn Yoder. A senior defender wearing number 20, Bryn Coyle. And a senior midfielder wearing number 30, Macy Money. Macy Money had one of the two goals scored against the Columbus School for Girls Unicorns. And on the other side, for the Warriors, they will line up like this. Number five, a freshman defender, Britton Kibbe. A freshman midfielder, number eight, Ellie Skidmore. 
a freshman defender, number 13, Lily Thompson. A sophomore midfielder wearing number 16, Madeline Holm. A sophomore forward wearing number 19, McLean Oosterbahn. A junior midfielder wearing number 11, Sophia Devine. A junior midfielder wearing number 24, Annie Retstadt. A senior midfielder wearing number 12, Caitlin Fields. A senior defender wearing number 20, Maria Klossman. A senior midfielder wearing number 17, Audrey Mel Meadows. And the senior goalkeeper who is wearing zero tonight for the Warriors is Amila, Amelia Wilson. Luke Fields, the head coach of the Warriors, and he has his team coming in with a 14. Let me pull that one up real quick one more time for you. 14-3 and 2 on the season to this point. A district championship will be awarded between these two teams tonight. And don't forget, coming up at 7, it'll be the boys matchup in the district championship against these two teams as well. Highland in their road white, except for Guzman, who is wearing her green keeper's jersey. The Warriors in their road blacks, except for their keeper, also wearing a green keeper's jersey. We're about to play the national anthem here at Veterans Field. We'll go ahead and step aside and come back with the kickoff next here on WKLM. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. HGR Realtors has joined Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, giving you even more options for your real estate needs. As your local market experts, Howard Hanna has been known as trusted realtors who take special care of your real estate opportunities. Visit them on the web at howardhanna.com or call them at 674-7610. Plus, don't forget that RES Auction Services can create a tailored strategic marketing plan to help you achieve maximum results. Visit res.bid for the latest auctions or call 833-765-3737. Howard Hanna Real Estate Services and RES Auction Services on Glen Drive in Millersburg and visit RES at the Auction Yard on Fry Road in Worcester. They're stronger together and here for you. If you're thinking about retiring, you probably have a lot of questions. How do you make your savings last? How much should you take out and when? You are ready for retirement, but are your finances? I'm Rob Hovis with Edward Jones Investments in Millersburg. Let's work together to help ensure that your finances can keep up with your own needs over the long haul. You've done what it takes to get there. Now it's time to make the most of retirement. Stop by my office at 212 North Washington Street. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. Untangling your headphones, finding the right remote, saying goodbye to your favorite shirt that hasn't fit in 10 years. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who live in your community and answer when you call. So you can worry about more important things like finding a new favorite shirt. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Orville, Wadsworth and Worcester today at HumbleGRP.com. Our community, it's where we live, it's where we work. And as your Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we know our community isn't just important, it's everything. Which is why we're grateful for your trust to provide the energy you need every day. Because for us, there's nothing more important than giving you the power to power on. Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative, thankful to serve such an amazing community and invest in their local youth, the future leaders of tomorrow. Fikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready mix concrete and state approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. 
Fikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fiker Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fiker Concrete. Well, it's gone final in State College, Pennsylvania. The Buckeyes pulling out a win. It took them until the fourth quarter to get the offense going, 44-31 to over the Penn State Nittany Lions. Jake Sato with you this afternoon. Our video crew from Claxton Communications this afternoon going to be Casey Claxton, our producer, Andrew Dunra Dunlap, pardon me, Andrew, running the camera, and Bella Gindelsberger back at WKLM. Sports Central make, pushing all the buttons, making sure you can hear us on FM 95.3, WKLM, and WKLMFM.com on Stream 1. Finishing up introductions for the Warriors here. Again, they'll be wearing their home black uniforms, except for their keeper, who will be wearing green. And the Hawks going to be wearing their road whites with their goalkeeper, Guzman, also wearing green uh, with the black pants. Artificial turf facility here, and it is a nice wide field here, not as uh, narrow as some turf fields you'll get, but this facility definitely made to accommodate all kinds of different sports on this main field, not just football. Well, we'll step aside now for the national anthem. Kickoff is coming your way next on WKLM. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. East Holmes Veterinary Clinic in Berlin and Millersburg also owns Pampered Paws in Millersburg and the Red Ruff Ruff Inn in Berlin. East Holmes Veterinary Clinic is there for all your pet needs. Whether it is for veterinary services, grooming, or boarding, there is only one place to call. That's East Holmes Veterinary Clinic with locations in Berlin at 893-2057, Millersburg at 674-5591, Pampered Paws 674-7297, or the Red Ruff Ruff Inn at 893-2057. Stop in today. If you need hauling done, then go with a place that will leave a legacy. At Legacy General Hauling. Whether it's commercial or residential, Legacy General Hauling is an independent contractor allowing them to do custom hauling for any of their customers. They have semi-truck and trailers for hauling equipment, telehandlers, man lifts, and more. They can even spread gravel for driveways. They have single-axle, A-tandem, and tri-axle dump trucks. That's Legacy General Hauling on County Road 201 between Middlesburg and Berlin. Give them a call at 330-204-5003. That's 330-204-5003. My name is Wyatt Miller, and I work for the best tire business in the world, Millersburg Tire Service. My grandpa, Brad Schmucker, wants me to sell you tires. Our tires really kick. Wyatt. I mean, they're really awesome. We have passenger, light truck, retread, commercial truck, tractor, recreational, and lawn and garden tires. Right, Grandpa? That's right, Wyatt. Let the entire Mellersburg Tire Service team take care of all your tire needs. Off State Route 39, east of Mellersburg. Call 674-1085 today. A beautiful day for soccer here in Central Ohio as we get set for this matchup between the Hawks and the Warriors. Jake Seidel with you this afternoon. Happy to be here for this uh, district championship match between the Hawks of Highland and the Warriors of Worthington Christian. Of course, with the Hawks being placed into the Central District this season, uh, it's a little earlier than no they'd usually plan on uh, seeing the Warriors, and uh, that could be a good thing, could be a little bit different, but either way, the Hawks going to try to come out here and punch their ticket to the next round. And don't forget, coming up, kickoff at 7 between the Warriors and the Hawks on the boys' side. We'll have that game for you right here as well on WKLM and the WKLM YouTube page. The team's breaking their huddles. It looks like the Hawks going to start with the ball on the kickoff here. As Money steps into the midfield circle.
Our referees wearing their blue shirts today. So we await the whistle to get this one started. And here it is. So we are underway here in New Albany. That one, an old college kickoff play sent all the way down, picked up by the defensive line in the backfield of Worthington Christian. Now knocked around, will go to the foot of Money. Money tries to turn it around, dueling with a Warrior. Now sent back on a, almost a clearance there, maybe a handball, and is undetected by our official. Sent down into the corner now, running through that one on the far side for the Hawks was Gingrich. Gingrich now working one-on-one. -on -one. Money has it in the box. Money turns around. Here's a shot coming and a save made. That shot came from Chloe Beach. Save had to be made by Wilson. So Wilson will punt this one away. A good punt towards midfield, headed down by the Hawks. Ball is loose and now tipped forward right side for Gingrich. Gingrich has the ball taken away from her as she tried to head it. Now far side for Kaufman. Kate Kaufman looking to cut this one in, and she'll put a little too much on that. Uh, trying to really send herself down towards the end line and just rolls it over for a goal kick. The Warriors going to take their time here to play this one out of, or to play this one out of the box, I should say. So I believe that Retstat who took it. Off a of cleat and out for a Hawks throw in. Taking it on the near side. Here's Mast. Mast throws it in. Money heads it forward. Ball still loose. And now on settle and attempted clear there. So it's off the foot of Kaufman there. Now sent up. Mast had it. Picking it up on the back line and sending it in now is Weaver. Her pass knocked away, and moving forward are the Warriors. They have that ball knocked away as they try to send it forward, and it goes back to their back line. Pass comes near side, knocked away there. It's going to stay in bounds as Kibbe works against Kaufman. Kaufman comes up with possession. Kaufman cuts into the 18. Now she's working with her left foot. She ran into some contact, a legal play there, and it'll go out for a goal kick. Defender just kind of stepping in there, being physical inside the 18-yard box uh, as Kaufman tried to dribble that one in. Good to just poke it away. As this goal kick goes out on the near side, coming in to try to save it from going out. Was a uh, defender as now Kaufman boots this one in the air. It's a high kick. Now cleared up towards midfield as the Warriors try to counter. They'll send it back to Retstat. Now it's sent forward on the far side. One on one, this ball could go out. It's going to go out just to the outside of the flag. It'll be a Hawks throwing deep in their own territory. Thrown in, tipped for a moment, and now picked up on the far sideline by the Warriors. They'll send in near side, trying to break it down inside the 18, and they will get it down. Here's a cross, offsides the call. Flag was up on the near side. So a free kick to get this one started once again. So we've played about five minutes in this one. Takes a bounce. Now pushed off the ball there from by the Hawks, or from the Hawks, I should say, is Beach. So it's into the box on the near side. Now here's a right-footed cross, a shot into the goal. We'll tell you about that goal here in just a minute on WKLM. I didn't. 
it's finally here. That's right, the MRV Sunning Supply brand new facility is fully open for business and ready to serve you. Just down from the previous location on County Road 624 in Middlesburg, the new state-of-the-art facility provides easier access, along with a larger showroom, more products displayed, and more parking. Stop by and see the new look for yourself at MRV Sunning Supply. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. Hawks try the college kickoff plays. Here's Kate Kaufman, makes a move. Now trying to take it back in, try to get it off her defenders. Take it away, now she'll regain possession. Kate Kaufman, double team, trying to work outside again. Ball is loose, now into the box with it. Kaufman for Money. Money with a shot, she'll tie it at one. Money from Kaufman ties us at one at 35-17. And we'll tell you about both those goals now when we come back on WKLM. This is Raleigh Mast. I'm a fleet mechanic with Yoder Lumber Logistics. We are a truck load carrier and broker servicing customers east of the Rocky Mountains. We have a fleet of late model equipment specializing in flatbed and Conestoga freight. At Yoder Lumber Logistics, we take pride in offering our customers fast and friendly service at competitive rates for all their inbound and outbound needs. Give us a call today at 330-893-3131. It was Oosterbahn with the goal to start things at 35-38. They gave Worthington Christian a one-goal lead. That lead lasted for less than a minute as Macy Money would score off a cross from Kate Kaufman, and that would make it 1-1 here with 34-50 to go in the first half. Jake Seidel back with you. As Worthington Christian with the ball. Well, they'll switch it out for another one with the uh, ball person on the far side. Deep in the defensive third. Has the ball now in the box. Highland trying to clear, and they'll knock it out for another throw in. On that far side. This one thrown in, headed around, and Guzman, while well, she can't play it now, as it'll be ushered out, it'll be a corner. corner First corner kick of the afternoon. As I believe that was Bryn Coyle ushered it out. It's Divine taking the corner. They'll play it out instead of towards the box. A miss hit there, and now it's picked up top of the 18, and going backwards are the Warriors. As trying to knock that one away was Beach. She did for a moment, and now they're back up top towards the defensive line. Running through that one, getting the ball out of there was Miller. And now Money trying to cross it down on that far side, and she'll let it roll on a send, and it'll go out on that far sideline, but right at the beginning of the defensive third for the Warriors. Throw in on the far side. Over the head on that far side of the Hawk defender. And now some pressure will send the ball out from Kylie Lapp. Throw in in front of the Hawks bench for Worthington Christian. As our referee telling her to come back towards, uh, for a point of reference, the 25-yard line. And she'll throw it in, head it away off another Hawks head, and it'll go back out towards the neutral third. Picked up in the middle now by Redstat, she'll get it back. Redstat working on against two. Passes in and now cleared to the far sideline by Lapp once again. It's now the official making her back up again on that far side for the throw in. Long throw headed straight out. So 1-1 the score, 32 minutes and change remaining. It's the ball knocked around now, cleared for a moment. Middle of the field, it's going to be a 50-50 ball. Some contact, official says it was clean. It's now the ball loose, nutmeg there by Coyle, now sent forward sky high in the air. Awkward hit coming down with it, Mass, and now the ball moving up front. Gingrich has it, Gingrich got run through. Making contact with the ball first and taking it away was Sophia Devine. Now Devine working against Gingrich. 
And she'll send it back to the back line. Working with it that time was Klausman. That's picked up in the middle. Sending, sending forward into the middle. Now turning around and they'll come back out near side for Devine. Trying to chip it over. Hits the back line of the Hawks. Knocked around and now cleared up to midfield. Money has it for a moment. She still has possession after it as it bounces off a few Warriors. Still bouncing off and now chipped down into the Hawks' defensive third. They'll turn around and send this one out for another throw-in on that far side. And that's really what you want to do against a team like Worthington Christian. They played a very strong schedule. Don't give them chances to cross on you. As another offsides call going against the Warriors. Substitutions coming in for the first time today. Katie Mast, as well as Faith King, I believe, checking in. And Julia Grant, the freshman midfielder, checking in as well. An indirect kick sent to the far side of the field. Money gets a foot on it. It's loose and now sent down the touch line on the far side. That'll stay in. As Kaufman, I believe, looking to move it. And it'll come near side. Money trying to dispossess two there. Ball loose, picked up by Devine on that backside. Now she'll send it down the touch line. Knocked away, back to Devine, and she'll chip this one in the air. Settled or put back in the air off ahead by the Hawks, and now settled by Highland. In the middle, here's Beach. Beach trying to send it Gingrich near side. Passes a little off the mark and now picked up on the back line by Mass. Gingrich now near side, looking to come back towards the midfield. Ball loose and now picked up back line once again by Weaver. In the middle there for Money, it was a, she couldn't get her foot on it and it'll roll in to the goalkeeper, Wilson. And she'll pick it up. Ten minutes gone at this in this one as it's sent back. I think off a hip there as Mass now tries to send it. Went off the back of her teammate there in Miller. Hawks defense trying to play up as much as they can. This ball knocked around, now sent middle of the field, and tripping on that one was Gingrich, and it'll go out for a throw-in as Kibby couldn't keep it on uh, inside that yellow line. Other side of midfield, though, as now Lydia Mast will throw this one across. Headed by a warrior, now knocked around once again. Picking it up there is Julia Grant. Now trying to turn around his mass. She'll be dispossessed for a moment. Picked up on the near side, and it'll be sent out uh, before any damage can be done by the Warriors. And that was Oosterbahn. Knocked out for another throw in, down a little bit. Mass couldn't uh, keep it in. That one thrown in, now cleared out of bounds once again on the near side, another throw in. Trying to go behind the line this time is now one-on-one, -on -one, kept in from the end line, but out on the near side, so a, another deep throw in right near the corner flag. The throw in, found a foot once again. I think Mast is sending it out again. Just trying to keep her feet where the ball's going and keep uh, Worthington Christian from finding any rhythm. That one knocked in and thrown in, now knocked out off the foot that time of Grant. It'll be a Hawks throw in and substitutions coming in. Anna Meadows, Anna Meadows to check in for the Warriors, checking in for Highland. is going to be Kristen Miller. Throw in deep in their own territory. They'll let it go. Headed forward by Money. Now Miller trying to hold on to possession. She's dispossessed in the middle of the field. A scrum in the middle of the field there for a moment. Now picking it up is Lap trying to send it forward. Gets knocked away. And now middle of the field for Oosterbahn. Ball still loose as it goes back once again with the Warriors, and it'll find its way out and 
for a Warriors throw in on the far side of the field. Sophia Devine's been all over the field for the Warriors this afternoon. As that pass moved forward by Kibbe, near side up to Julia Grant. Ball loose once again. It's one on one down in the corner. Grant trying to possess the ball and it'll be knocked out. Good defense by Bryn Coyle just outside the 18 yard line. Ball will go out of the Warriors this time and Mast will throw it in for the Hawks. Trying to run quickly as that one knocked around and now Beach sends it to the middle of the field where it'll be one touch there by the back line of the Warriors and into the middle of the field before cleared by Coyle. Ball loose and it's going to go out for a Hawks throw in on the near side. Running after it was Kibby. She couldn't get there in time. And now the Hawks trying to go in transition. As that one will be chipped in towards the box. And running in is Miller. Miller won't have time to get there. But it will go out for a goal kick. Okay. 25 and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Tied at one. The goals came. Separated by... Just about 20 seconds on the clock. As that kicked up, Miller trying to dispossess there and now just sent forward. Off the shoulder of Coyle. Hard to settle once again is now another bit of a scrum there. Coyle working against Oosterbahn. Uh, the ball's loose, and are we going to have our first foul of the game? We will. It'll be a free kick awarded about 30 yards out. First foul as it's going to be just about 45 yards out. The Warriors going to play this one short as they come to the near side. Now left foot. Through the box, and it'll go out for a goal kick. Good attempt on a send there from Kibby, who came up from her right back position to send that one forward. Especially on that distance out from goal, you don't always want to go directly at the net as that one knocked around. Now picked up by the Hawks and trying to send it forward. On the far side, there was Miller. Ball picked up by the Warriors. Now loose right on the touch line on the far side. And Money trying to run it down. It'll be sent out off Money for a Worthington Christian throw in. Throw in, knocked down and picked up now. Money has it. She kind of got hip checked, and Money thought she had the throw in for the Hawks, and the assistant referee on that side gave it to the Warriors. Coil forward to head that one away, and now it's knocked around. And trying to pick it up and drive it forward is Grant on the near side. Grant sending into the box. Guzman just going to come out. She'll boot this one out to midfield. Takes a hop. Before a miss hit, now Money trying to step through the 50-50 ball before it's picked up by Worthington Christian again. By Katie Mast. Sent forward, it's one-on-one -on -one heading down to the corner. Is not able to keep it inbounds there. It'll go out for a goal kick with Julia Grant working against Coyle. Sumps for the Hawks once again. As Money going to check out up top. Rihanna Lease up top now. Low driving kick and now 50-50 ball. And picking it up again, there was Grant now into the middle as it's cleared by the Hawks. Lease comes up from midfield to field it. Now she's going to try to send it on that far sideline, and she'll put a little too much on it. It'll roll out. This is the number one seed and the number five seed in this district tournament and some more substitutions. 
Julia Grant going to check out. She'll be replaced by Caitlin Fields. Also checking out Mast and Rettstat checking out as well. 50-50 ball right near the top of the offensive third. Now into the neutral third as the Warriors pick it up. Driving forward. Turning around on that one is King. Faith King loses possession. And now it's sent out on the near side. Cut back in. Ball is knocked down trying to make a move there is Divine. It'll go off the top of the net for a goal kick. Levine just put it off the top of the net there. That's the second shot recorded by Worthington Christian. Hawks haven't had a lot of sustained time in their offensive third so far tonight. As the throw-in comes into the middle of the field, now they'll... Worthington Christian trying to move it forward. Coming back with it there was Oosterbahn. Now Mass keeps it inbounds, and she'll give it up to Kellogg. Middle of the field now as that 50-50 ball ran through. Some contact there. Good defense from Mia Miller for it's picked up and now sent forward on that far side. And it'll be... Just out there for the Hawks. Here's the throw. Cut in front of that time and now grabbed in the middle there by Beach. Beach double teamed and now it's turned and sent middle of the field for Coyle. Coyle. She gets wiped out. Oh, they're going to play advantage for Worthington Christian. I'm surprised to see that one as it's going to be sent down and... It'll be right at the end line. It'll roll over the end line. So, from my point of view, it looked like uh, Faith King came through on that one and caused the contact, but the way the official played it gave advantage to Worthington Christian. So here's the goal kick. It's in the air. Sent forward and picking it up on the far side are the Hawks. And Lease. Lease working on that far touch line. Looking to turn and find the cross. Now coming back out and she's dispossessed. Off ahead and out of bounds. The Hawks haven't had much luck so far this afternoon of getting the crosses in. And now our referee uh, telling the Warrior throwing it in. She was way too far up the field there. And our assistant referee having her come all the way back to the around the 30-yard line. Halfway through this first half, it's still 1-1. The ball is loose and it'll go out. They're going to say it went off. Uh, Faith King there. So the Hawks are going to throw it in here and see if they maybe try to switch fields and work with Kaufman on this near side. Ball is headed out again on the far sideline. Headed it again and now just cleared out with the foot across the track. So a throw in deep in their offensive third now for the Hawks. They haven't had a lot of chances down here as they'll bring all but two when the keeper up across well, really deeper into across midfield as now we have substitutions before this throw-in. Looks like Money coming in on that far sideline to take the throw-in. As Money waiting for our referee's whistle, runs forward. Throws it into the box, and it's going to go out for a corner kick off ahead. Kick Hawks first corner kick of the afternoon. See if they can turn it into Money will take the anything. Money going to take it with her right foot. 
See how they drive it in here. Kaufman standing in by the goalkeeper. It's bounced in there. Kaufman taking contact from the goalkeeper there. Wilson as it goes out for another corner kick. Money again out there to take it. Kaufman again. Actually, correction, that is Lice standing in against the keeper. A low driver that time. Put in the air by King. The ball is loose up top again. Hawks trying to get it back before a counter can be made by the Warriors as they'll send forward. Coil grabs it off a of shin guard, and it'll be picked up on the near side here by Caitlin Fields. Fields sending forward and one-on-one -on -one as Beach working against Devine. Now it's going to run out on this near side off a Warrior for a Hawks throw-in. Fifteen forty to go in this one. Don't forget, double header action. Kickoff at seven between Worthington Christian and Highland on the boys' side. We'll have that one for you here on WKLM as well. In the middle now, Faith King dispossessed and cleared there by Beach for a moment. It's now picked up and that's going to go off a of foot there. Good defense by Kate Kaufman to keep them from putting that one right back into the box. Oosterbond checking in, King checking out. Sophie uh, Devine also checking out. Throw in, off a of foot, and cleared forward and out by the Hawks and Kylie Lapp. Throw in again. It's at the foot there, and it'll be off of... Fields this time for a Hawks throw in. A very even uh, first half here. Both teams with one goal on two shots. So it's been hard to find chances in the offensive zones. This one's cleared forward and across midfield. Now sent right back off the head of Coyle. Now Fields tries to settle. Ball is loose. Knocked away. Almost nutmegged away there as here's a clearance again. This one will go across midfield. As Kaufman chases after it, a bad touch. Kaufman turns around to try to collect herself. Kaufman, shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact, pulling it across and now into the box as she'll level her defender, and she'll be called for a foul. It's the second foul going against Highland. And Kaufman, a little push-off there, and then Contact from behind. You're going to get that called nine times out of ten. Under 15 to go here in the first half. Still 1-1 the score. Highland goal coming from Macy Money from Kate Kaufman. The Worthington Christian goal coming from McLean Oosterbahn. And she was assisted by Caitlin Fields. Ball loose, now picked up by Mast. Mast looking to go to Kaufman. Pass was a bit off line, but will go out of bounds for a Hawks throw in on the near side. Mast takes a run, puts it in the air, off ahead, and out for another Hawks throw in. Macy Money trying to pull one over there. Went to a place where she'd get a little bit of a longer run at it. Now she'll take that run from the bench. Puts it up off ahead. Ball takes a hop. And another scrum in the middle of the field. As the Warriors will try to counter now. That one just sent forward off of foot. And now cleared and out of bounds off of the Warriors on the far sideline. Off ahead, and that one's going to stay in for now, and it will keep rolling down. It'll eventually roll out. I think the defender for Worthington Christian thought that one might have been a uh, off of a hawk, but yeah, she just was kind of ushering at on the line there. So here's the throw in from Money. Cleared out for a corner. 
third corner from the for the Hawks tonight. Has money to take it. Kaufman's at the top of the box. This one sent in low, and it's going to be cleared out. Almost settled there, and now it's going to be one-on-one -on -one as the Hawks try to stop the counter. Back, you're going to take it all the way back to Guzman, who will boot this one forward. Takes a hop, and now saved from going out of bounds by the Hawks and sent forward and off of the head. I believe that went off the foot of Aud or head of Audrey Meadows and out of bounds for a Hawks throw in at midfield. So here's the throw in, headed out again. So Money will take it this time. She takes a few steps forward, unloads this one down into the box, and it'll be sent out for another corner. That was dangerous. It looked like it was going straight on net. Four corner kicks now for the Hawks, and eventually you got to make Worthington Christian pay for giving up this many set pieces early in the match. Money to take it again with the right foot on that far side. See if she tries to bring this one out in the air a little bit as it is up in the air. Off ahead, and it's going to go out for another corner. And the Warriors not happy with that call, especially Amelia Wilson, the goalkeeper. She didn't think there was a tip there. Corner kick number five for the Hawks. Ten minutes to go here in the first half. This one put into the air. Knocked down, and now... Attempting to clear and tipped and going out of bounds. No, saved for a moment. Now out of bounds for a Warriors throwing on the far side. Sent forward on the throw. Now settled for a moment there. Beach trying to keep it in, and she'll be hit from behind and lose it out of bounds. Substitutions coming in before this throw in. Well, don't forget to tune, stay tuned in for the halftime show here. We'll go through the first half numbers and the goals scored and get you set up for the second half here in this district championship game. So Faith King is checked in as well as Skidmore and, a few, and one more. So here's the throw in on the far side. Beach will keep it in as the ball lost for a moment there and now sent back on the back line to Rettstedt. She's dispossessed by Kaufman. Kaufman looking to turn. Kaufman beat one. Now cuts inside. Kaufman dispossessed up top. Ball sent right back in. Rettstedt, she'll send it forward once again. Coyle coming near side. Going to let this one run out for a throw in. Sent forward. Now into the middle. Now forwarded once again there. Ball is loose and picked up. I believe that's Divine picking it up. She'll be dispossessed by Mast. And holy cow, Mast. <laughs> Our officials really letting him play tonight. It looked like Divine had a hold of Mast's arm there. Goes undetected. And offsides again on the far side for the third time are the Warriors. One sent forward, takes a hop, Money trying to corral it. It's now Faith King trying to pick it up on the far side. She will. King in towards Guzman. Guzman will come out and grab that one. That wasn't a shot attempt. That was a cross. Just a, trying to lead Divine into the box and put too much on it from King. Punted away, hopped, and Gingrich will pick it up on the sideline. Gingrich trying to turn around. She's double teamed, loses it. And now it's sent back into the middle towards Rastat. Now coming near side for Kibby. She'll send forward as Kibby will get it back on the near sideline. Gets it past Kaufman, but now Mass stepping up, trying to take it away from Grant. Grant has it, looking to send in the middle of the box, almost headed away, and now Devine has it in the box, and she'll, I think she might have, either tipped or she just missed that kick entirely 
as Faith Hill has it now down near the goal line, and she's dispossessed, but the clearance goes out of bounds right near where she was dispossessed on the sideline with six and a half to go. Thrown into Faith Hill. Hill trying to turn around, dribbling in towards the box, and she'll dribble it right out of bounds for a goal kick. And she wants a foul from our official who is not giving any. So six minutes to go here in this first half, a very evenly matched first half. So here's the boot. Corralled by Mast, she'll clear it towards the middle now, trying to find money. It takes a hop, money overruns it, and it'll be sent right back to the back line. Lap puts it in the air, and now ahead from Coyle. Grabbed for a moment there and loose, and now cleared forward for Money. Money got a stab at it, but couldn't corral it. Sent on the touchline again, and down. That's going to be one-on-one -on -one Coyle versus... That's Oosterbond down in the corner. She'll send it in towards net, and it'll be ushered out for a corner. No, it stays in, still in, and now ushered out for a corner. Corner kick up coming for the Warriors. It's the second corner for Worthington Christian today, and it comes with just about five minutes to go in the first half. We'll see who comes to take it. It's going to be Julia Grant. The last time they had a corner, they played it out towards the middle of the field. And it looks like they might try to play it short here as Grant's actually going to come out, and they'll play it right to Grant. Grant on the end line, comes back to Devine. Devine takes the pass, and now the ball loose, knocked away by Money, cleared, and now Money going to try to carry this one up, found of her own end, and she'll chip it forward for herself. Money. Now a clearance all the way across midfield. Four and a half to play here in the first half. Sent middle of the field. And now it's going to be near side once again for Julia Grant. Grant working against Coyle. I think she got the nutmeg there on Coyle. She stood up then, and the ball cleared forward. And out of bounds on the near side for a Hawks throw in. Four to go now here in the first half. Hawks have had a few chances, but most of this game has been played in the neutral third. Heading it forward was Money. Now sent back into the middle of the field. It's a send into the box, going to be picked up. Zusterbahn couldn't find Faith Hill. Bounce forward, knocked around, and now sent forward once again for Gingrich with three and a half to play. Gingrich dispossessed by Hill. Hill going to look to carry in, now sends it forward for Oosterbahn. Oosterbahn down towards the end line, and she'll send it off a hawk for a throw in down near the corner flag with three minutes to go. Throw is in. It's in the top of the 18. Here's a shot, and it's going to go wide. Deflected out for a corner. Third corner. And after a substitution, it'll be the under two and a half to go here as Audrey Meadows going to check in for Faith Hill. Sophia Devine to take the corner. They're going to play it short again on that far side. And dispossessed was Devine. It'll go out for a throw. And that's good defense there on the far side by the Hawks. It's Devine pushing around in the box against Beach. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes to go here in the half. It's getting physical down inside the 18-yard box between Devine and Beach. They'll throw it in. That one's headed up. 
And the Warriors are going to try to send it right back in. They'll actually go outside. And now here's a right-footed across the field attempt. They're trying to just send it forward. And it'll roll out for a goal kick. One and a half to go here. So 1-1 one, one the score. As Lapp will put that goal kick in the air. Settled for a moment there by Money. Now she sends across the field for Gingrich. Gingrich tries to settle. Pressure coming. And she'll be dispossessed. One minute to go here in the first half. Middle of the field. They find Ristat now sending it forward. Ball loose and a roll over the end line for a corner kick. Four corner kicks now. Three of them coming in the last five minutes of the half. 45 seconds to go in this one. The Hawks trying to hold on to a 1-1 draw. As Meadows takes it on the far side. Trying to get into the locker room with that 1-1 tie. That one's headed out for another corner. Both teams now with five corners in this first half. Meadows to take it again. They'll play this one outside. Off ahead, it's loose and cleared away by the Hawks with 10 seconds left. And now up top, they're just going to send it right back in and Guzman will pick it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Guzman with her first save tonight. That one went on net, and that takes us to halftime. We are tied at one between the Hawks and the Warriors here on WKLM. Denco Marketing in Middlesburg is accepting applications for a warehouse shipping position. Previous experience is beneficial, however, we'll train the right individual. Hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, with potential for overtime. Requires some heavy lifting, excellent work environment, competitive starting pay, health insurance, IRA retirement plan, with employer match available, paid vacation, and bonus paid yearly. Apply in person or email resume to john at dencomarketing.com. Resumes can also be mailed to operations manager Denco Marketing, P.O. Box 191, Millersburg, Ohio, 44654. The Holmes County Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau is proud to support our local athletes. Our mission is to help our members succeed through advocacy, leadership, economic development, innovation, communication, and maintaining our community's identity. Visit www.homescountychamber.com. A single-family home located at 7986 Township Road 103 in Middlesburg is listed for sale by Coffin Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $249,900. This property was built in 1979 and has three bedrooms and one full bath with 1,056 square feet located in the West Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Cliff Spring at 330-464-5155 or check it out at HoffmanRealty.com. Flu season is coming soon. Hi, this is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg, letting you know that it is just about time to head to the pharmacy for your annual flu vaccine. Receiving your flu vaccine protects against four different types of the flu that are likely to be circulating in our area this year. This protection lasts four to six months, so we recommend late September to early October as the best time to get vaccinated and be protected during peak flu season. Flu shots will be available at both our Berlin location and our newer Millersburg location inside Rhodey's IGA with no appointment necessary. We hope to see you soon at Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Winesburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Winesburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Winesburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Winesburg and Berlin. Stop in all this week for these great deals at Rhodey's IGA Marketplace. Get half gallon Bowman's apple cider for $3.99, four pound bag of IGA sugar for $1.99, 
and IGA apple juice, two for $3. They also have pork baby back ribs for $4.89 a pound, Gerber's Bodeless Skinless Chicken Thighs for $3.79 a pound, Sugardale All Beef Franks for $3.39, and 31 to 40 count Holy Cook Cocktail Shrimp for $8.99. Don't forget to call 674-7075 for meat, cheese, and party platters at Rody's IGA. If you're looking for a fresh approach to pet nutrition, then it's time to go with Exclusive at TMK Farm Service. Every Exclusive formula is created with purposeful nutrition in mind, with high-quality ingredients that are good for pets. How does Exclusive differ, you ask? Well, from exploring new and innovative ways to enrich the lives of pets, thorough research, quality shirt, and balanced nutrition, you can see why it's the perfect meal for your pet. Get Exclusive at TMK Farm Service, with four locations to serve you. In Berlin, Sugar Creek, and New Bedford, along with their organic facility in Holmesville. Are you tired of wasting money on your home energy bills? Let home siting contractors show you just how affordable replacing your windows can be. Provia has developed a reputation within the vinyl replacement window industry for having the best features and options. The Provia Endure and Aspect windows are as stunningly beautiful as they are energy efficient and over time will pay for themselves. Call home siting contractors today to set up your free in-home evaluation by calling 888-725-6619. Halftime here in New Albany at Veterans Field, and it's a 1-1 draw through 40 minutes between Highland and Worthington Christian. We'll go ahead and take a look at those goals that were scored in the first half. And the first one would be uh, off a, a little bit of a run into the box from McLean Oosterbond as she would get it off a pass from Caitlin Fields and get it past Guzman to score the first goal to make it one to nil. Although that one nil lead would last only about 20 seconds or so as with 35-17 to go, Macy Money would get the ball on this pass from Kate Kaufman in the box, turns with her right foot and puts it into the goal to tie us at one. And since then, no scoring. So we had two goals in what less than a minute and then the 35 minutes and 17 seconds pass then uh, nothing. For the Hawks, one goal on two shots. They've had five corner kicks, committed two fouls, have not been called off sides. Meanwhile, for the Warriors, they have four shots, uh, one goal on four shots, also five corner kicks. They've been called off sides three times. They have not been called for committing a foul. The goalkeepers in this one, Idzela Guzman, with one save on taking those two shots. And Amelia Wilson, uh, one save on the two shots face. I should say uh, two of those uh, shot attempts on the uh, Highland keeper were either blocked or sent over the net or on top of the net. So uh, since those first two really hasn't been anything close for either of these keepers, the defense has really stepped up uh, for both Highland and Worthington Christian as they look to take some hardware to their respective schools after uh, this afternoon affair. And don't forget, we've got a boys district championship matchup coming your way uh, later this evening, a 7 o'clock kickoff between, again, Highland and Worthington Christian. The nice thing about that is they're playing both those games here. Uh, so it makes it a little bit easier for us uh, to bring those to you. We'll get on the air at about 640 for that one. One more time, the halftime score here as we uh, get set for second half action. It's 1-1 between the Hawks and the Warriors. We'll step aside and come back with that second half kickoff next here on WKLM. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. If you're a motivated individual looking for employment, then Village Motors may have an opportunity for you to start a career. This is Deke Miller letting you know that Village Motors is now hiring technicians with various levels of experience, service advisors, salespeople, and we're also looking for help in our parts department. We offer competitive pay and benefits in a remarkable work environment. Contact Tom Porman at 674-8543 or email him at tporman at villagemotorsinc.com. 
This is Raleigh Mast. I'm a fleet mechanic with Yoder Lumber Logistics. We are a truck load carrier and broker servicing customers east of the Rocky Mountains. We have a fleet of late model equipment specializing in flatbed and Conestoga freight. At Yoder Lumber Logistics, we take pride in offering our customers fast and friendly service at competitive rates for all their inbound and outbound needs. Give us a call today at 330-893-3131. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent. Hobron's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. If you're in the market for farm equipment, parts, or service, there's one place that can handle it all. Buckeye Farm and Garden is your one-stop shop for all your farming needs. Located off State Route 39 between Millersburg and Berlin. Buckeye Farm and Garden specializes in sale and service of tractors, balers, pillars, box blades, brush hogs, feeders, spreaders, hay rakes, and much, much more. Check out their inventory at BuckeyeFarmandGarden.com or call to set up an appointment at 330-674-0456. Buckeye Farm and Garden, your farm equipment. Connection. Getting set for the second half action here between the Hawks and the Warriors. Jake Sano with you once again. Uh, thanks to our production crew tonight on the producing side. It's Casey Claxon, Andrew Dunlap on the camera, and Bella Gindelsberger back at WKLM Sports Central. So we'll switch sides here. The Hawks, they had their opportunity on a counterattack to tie it, and they did in the first half. Uh, Meanwhile, on the other side, it's been uh, a lot of sustained offensive zone possession in the latter latter end of that half for the Worthington Christian Warriors. The Warriors and the Hawks are coming up on the boys' side tonight at 7 o'clock. We'll have that game for you right here on... YouTube and the WKLM, uh, w, the WKLM YouTube page, I should say, and on FM 95.3 WKLM. So I look to get this one going again. It'll be Oosterbahn to put this ball in play in the midfield circle. And we'll see if the Warriors try the old college kickoff play on this one. They send it back and send it forward back to Oosterbahn in the circle, taken away by the Hawks and sent back towards the back line. Money running after it. It's cleared forward for a moment. Now Oosterbahn has it, middle of the field and coming near side. They try to get that one to Meadows. Ball loose now picked up by Oosterbahn in the middle, sent forward and stepped up defense there from Bryn Yoder to send it back towards Money at midfield. Now Kaufman trying to take that pass from Money as it's going to get chippy between these forwards and defenders on both sides here. As both feel they've been fouled and both feel they haven't gotten calls as Kaufman picks it up. Ball loose. Kaufman trying to get it free. Skied in the air for a moment there. And now Beach comes up with it, gives it back to Kaufman on the far side. Just a little too far for her. She tried to stretch out for that one. It'll go out for a throw in. Thrown into that back line and now booted forward. And that might go out of bounds. It's right up near midfield now. Kept alive there by the Hawks. And now I think that's Oosterbahn 
Looking to drive this one forward, working against Beach. Sent forward, stepping in front of that one was Bryn Yoder, and now it's cleared back up towards Kaufman. Taken away for a moment there. Now Beach gets it back as they try to go to Money. Money has it for a moment, now taken away, and it'll be sent forward into the middle once again. It's uh, Madeline Hume. Sent forward, trying to find Gingrich on the near side, but that send intercepted by the defensive line. A five-back defense by the Warriors. I think that might be a change. I thought they were playing with four backs in the first half. Ball loose and picked up. Now Rastat trying to run forward. A foul going to be called against the Hawks. They're third. So right on the other side of midfield is that foul called. I'd expect we're going to get more of those fouls uh, called here in the second half. They're going to boot this one down towards the 18. Coyle gets it knocked away for a second. Now Beach working against Oosterbahn to take this one away. They'll come near side and send it over on the shot attempt. That one was not on net. Uh, Meadows puts it over on the far side. Imagine we'll see a lot of Oosterbahn and Meadows going back and forth as well as Madeline Hume, uh, Holm. Is that ball going to roll out on the far side for a Warriors throw in? The Hawks' M.O. is they want to score, they want to take the ball and move it up the field fast as that one whiffed. Ball loose is now Coyle going to clear it. And it'll go out near the Warriors bench on the near side. Throw in. Knocked down for a moment. And it'll go straight out from Oosterbahn. And it'll go out for a Hawks throw in on the near side here. So they're trying to get to Gingrich. And it goes out. This time it goes out of bounds off. Uh, Meadows, long throw, takes a hop, settled for a moment, now sent into the middle of the field for Kaufman. Kaufman lets it get on the wrong side of her, now one-on-one -on -one as they work on that far side, and that's going to be a foul against Kaufman. As she just bulldozed through Kibbe after Kibbe tried to clear that one. And I, I think that was that looks worse than it actually was. I think both their momentum were going that way, and then when Kibby tried to turn to clear, just kind of caught Kaufman off guard. This one sent forward now into the middle of the field for Oosterbahn. Oosterbahn trying to get it through, and Guzman will end up coming out and picking that one up. High punt trying to find Gingrich. Gingrich trying to trap it against her defender. Now Gingrich working on this near side, trying to come across. She was hooked, and again, neither our referee or assistant referee saw that one. It's a ball trying to be knocked away and brought across midfield, sent forward and off a foot of a defender there. I think that was Lap. And now Oosterbahn will send it into the crease. Coyle just going to clear this one out. Divine. Let's it take a hop and now goes behind her and Gingrich will pick it up working against Divine. One on one, Divine will turn around in front of her own bench. And looks to send into the box once again. Headed down by Coyle, ball is loose. Oosterbahn comes up with it. So now it's down loose in the box again, sent back out near side and sent backwards. There might have gone off a warrior there, couldn't see who it went off of. That might have been Directed down that direction by Meadows. High hop there off the punt as Beach tries to step in front. Now sent forward. One on one. Meadows was off sides. She was off sides, I think, there. 
it was it was a close call. They've been called offsides four times, and when you have a uh, forward that takes that it's that far ahead of the defense, a lot of times even an assistant referee will look at that and like, there's no way she made that run onside. 33 and a half to go here as that kick knocked away. Now chipped over to the far side. Mass going to look to keep this one inbound. She will. She'll get it to Kaufman, who goes back to Mast. Mast trying to get it to Kaufman. Pass intercepted. Back to Mast. Mast far side going to send Kaufman. Intercepted again. And now sent forward in the middle of the field. Cleared back and little change field trying to get it to Gingrich. Settled for a moment. Now turning it around here is Meadows. Meadows runs into some pressure. Now Beach has it. Beach one-on-one, -on -one, loses possession, and now sent forward once again to Oosterbahn. Oosterbahn trying to send forward, and this time I don't think anyone was offsides, but everyone thought they were, and it goes all the way back to Guzman. High punt, Gingrich tries to keep it in bounds, but can. It'll go out for a throw-in, and substitutions coming in. It's going to be Faith Grant and Katie Mast. Thirty-two minutes to go in this one as the ball thrown in, takes a hop, Oosterbahn. Working to, on the defense, trying to turn it around. Now Faith Hill has it. She'll be knocked away, and the uh, Worthington Christian bench once fouls in the box, none coming. As she's cleared again, it'll go out for a corner. Faith King, pardon me, not Faith Hill. <laughs> it's been a long day, folks, especially if you watch that Buckeyes game. Corner kick number six coming down to take this one going to be Katie Mast. And 20 yards apart are the backs from the fullback. That attempt sent straight up and over the goal through the uprights. That would have been good uh, last night, not tonight. Goes out for a goal kick. Good defense by the Hawks as it's settled and then just sent directly over the crossbar by number five, Julia Grant. As Faith King sends that one back in. Ball is loose and it'll be lost out of bounds by Holm. Throw in takes a bounce and... Going to say it never came back in. That looked like it hit on the inside of that yellow line from up here. but So that's going to go into a throw-in deep in Hawks territory. Ball in the middle of the field and is trying to take that one away from Devine was Beach. Now they'll come back up top. Come on the inside now and down to Hill. King now looks to get it in. Crossed across in the box, now cleared out up top to the top of the 18. Sent back out, the clearance going backwards as Coyle trying to get rid of it finally does. As Gingrich runs through a 50-50 ball and now trying to pick it up and run it forward as she'll clear it up to Money. Money looking to turn around, boxing out, now turns around. Kaufman going to try to come up, get the ball, and she'll send forward for Beach. This one's going to be... Picked up on the back line and sent straight out by the defensive line onto the near side. So Money going to come throw in on the near side. So here's the throw. Into the box, headed down. Gingrich gets it up top, knocks it away, and now sent back to the Neutral third. Knocked around again, working uh, against Oosterbahn there is Yoder. Now sent forward. Coyle gets a foot on it, headed back, and now some contact and, fifth, and uh, back and forth contact as Gingrich has it on the near side, looking to turn around. Gingrich, double team, gets out of it. 
Now sends forward, makes some contact, and oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a fifth foul to go against the Hawks. No fouls have been called against Worthington Christian so far in this contest. Shocking. Sent forward, now headed down. Ball is loose and picked up by Devine. Devine looking to carry in. And she'll get past one, now crosses in on the end line. Ball is knocked straight up in the air, right at the top of the 18, and it'll roll out for a goal kick. Goal kick sent towards midfield. Money can't get to it in time. Ball is loose and now picked up middle of the field and headed forward. Beach will send it up towards midfield and it's knocked around. Devine comes near side to King. King almost dispossessed. Now she is. Beach turns trying to send it forward over to Kristen Miller who just checked in. Near side now running in to the corner. There was Holm. And it'll go out. It'll be a Warriors throw in on the near side. King going to take it. Here's the throw. It's into the box and headed backwards and out for a corner. This will be corner kick number seven. They'll play it short, chip it in towards the box and cleared momentarily and now headed down and cleared out on the far side for a throw in. A little bit of discombobulated play on that far side as they'll throw it straight into the box, trying to find Holm, as now she'll send it back up top. Cross back into the box, headed straight up. And Lapp will send this one back up and out of harm's way and out of bounds for the moment. Throw comes towards the middle of the field now. Beach gets a foot on it. And we'll roll it up. It'll roll out closer to midfield now for another Warriors throw. Again, Beach gets a foot on it. Back out for another Worthington Christian throw. It's knocked down and now booted straight forward. Money going to try to get it off of some contact. And now she's dispossessed, running through a 50-50 ball and... Losing possession there again was Highland. One-on-one -on -one is now coming out is Coyle, and she'll throw that one, or kick it, I should say, into the bench near side. Fields to check in. She has the assist on the first game. Meadows also checking in. Throw gets behind. It's down on the corner. One-on-one. -on -one. Beach working against Devine. Devine trying to put it right on that line. Beach not letting her get too much room. She crosses in. It's knocked away. Ball is loose and put high into the air and out of bounds for a goal kick. That time off the foot. I believe that was once again Audrey Meadows who just clears that one. Out of the end. So Lapp will come in with another goal kick here. 23 uh, and 50 to go. 23-50 to go here in the second half. Looks like we're going to have a handball, and it will. 
via handball against the Hawks. It's about 50 yards out. Ball is knocked down and into space by Coyle. Coming out to grab its Meadows. Meadows gets it passed down to Devine. Devine couldn't get it. It'll roll out for a Hawks throw in. Throw in down on the deep in Hawks territory now as here it comes. Headed down by Devine there. King gets it now. It's knocked out of bounds on the near side. It'll be another Warriors throw in. Knocked away again for a moment there as now Beach will put it into space. 50-50 ball runs straight through. And this one's going to run out of bounds on the near side. Throw ins off ahead. Knocked down there. And played by Mast. Back out. And Meadows with the cross. King goes backwards. Ball is knocked away and now cleared out of the 18. King had a head on it, but just couldn't get it directed towards net. So it'll run out on the far sideline for a Warriors throw. Taken away for a moment there. Ball placed on that line. Hawks trying to maintain possession and clear forward, and they will for a moment. But taken away again as it was run through on a 50-50 ball. King up top now as the ball cleared out on the near sideline. The Hawks playing a lot of defense right now. Thrown in. Knocked around. And now Beach trying to clear. A scrum is ball loose inside again. King has it. Now cleared outside momentarily. Picked up. Now it's trying to send it directly back. There was Mast. Ball picked up. Here's a shot from distance. Guzman will grab it. Just the second save Guzman's had to make tonight. Ball loose, now sent right back into Hawks territory. Knocked around again and sent back. Got to try, got to try to come inside with Meadows. Meadows tries to collect the missed touch and it'll roll out on the near side. Substitution for the Warriors. It's McLean Oosterbond checking back in. She's going to take the place of Caitlin Fields. Three quarters of this match done. Ball knocked around. Mass looking to turn and shoot. She's dispossessed. As it's sent forward once again, the Hawks trying to counter. Coming near side to Kellogg. Kellogg has the ball taken away and knocked out, but now this is where the Hawks, if you're Highland, you really want to get some sustained time in your offensive zone and Wilson hasn't seen a shot in a while. Try to catch her off guard. Here's the throw. And it'll go right out. And coming down to throw it in again is going to be Yoder. Yoder takes a few steps. Gets this one in. Headed down. Knocked around. Sent high in the air. Beach going to try to... Settle it. She can for a moment there. And now it's going to be sent out on the near side. A missed touch by the Warriors.
Ball thrown in and cleared back from Yoder. Lap runs through the 50-50 ball and it goes out of bounds. Good heads up play by Lap. Eighteen and a half minutes to go in this one. Momentarily settled there by the Hawks is now being played on that near side and getting away. Here's a cross into the box and it is saved for a moment, knocked away. And Guzman will come down after the attempt deflected. Counter for the Hawks as King coming near side. Faith King, oh my goodness. Runs over a player, gets it back, and it'll be taken away. Faith King with the shot on goal, the save by Guzman. Beach has it now. Knocked away and now in the middle. 50-50 ball. And now a foul going to go against Worthington Christian, the first uh, they've had called on them this evening. It's been a very physical match, but that's only the, well, I guess I shouldn't say only, six fouls have been called in this match. Five of them on the Hawks. Beach sends this one back, sent forward to Beach, off of foot, ball loose, sliding in for that one. And now the ball loose once again with Ustaban. In the middle now, they're trying to turn around and send far side. And they will, having to turn around and come back and try to get it, though, was Lee's. The ball loose again. Lease has it. Crosses into the box. Top of the 18. As Beach crosses it in once again, and it's cleared out up top. It's like the Hawks will get into the box, and then they lose track of what they're trying to do. As Lapp will settle that one and clear it back on the near side. Picked up by the Warriors. Now sent forward. Middle of the field. Now here's home. Home. Trying to cross it in. One-on-one, -on -one, the keeper, Guzman, will come out. It's going to be a goal kick. Substitution's going to come in for the Hawks. And what a job by Guzman. She came out, made the save, and forced it out off the Warriors for the goal kick. So substitutions again as here's going on the far side on the goal kick. Stepping in front of there, a Hawk trying to maintain possession. And she gets thrown off by King. Oh, my goodness, and there's the foul. I was going to say, King came in and behind and just leveled the Hawk for a midfielder. So it'll be a free kick on the other side of midfield. It's sent forward. Settled for a moment. Now knocked around. Beach going to try to come out and take it as it's sent forward across midfield again. King going to send this one down towards the box, and it will roll in, and Guzman will come on and pick it up. Punt trying to switch fields with it now as Beach will set it up and near side for Weaver. Weaver trying to send it forward, picking it up there for a moment was Miller. Now she goes outside to Mast, sent back into the middle of the field. Picked up in the middle now with Holm. Holm dispossessed, and now she'll actually just pass it back, back to her in midfield, trying to get the old one-two as Beach makes enough of a distraction to be able to clear that one away. Money. Trying to send Gingrich on the near side. Ball's loose. Headed forward. Now up into the air. 50-50 ball. King will get it. And gets it up to Oosterbahn. Ball's loose once again. And oh my, another foul going to go against King. As she just body checked Lap. Trying to gain possession in the box. She, I, didn't, I don't even think she tried to make an attempt on that ball. So it'll be a foul going against King and Worthington Christian. This one sent up into the air. 
knocked around, and now King going to pick it up again. Try to turn around, and now passes it in the middle of the field. Near side for Meadows. Meadows got with an opening, crosses back. Coyle steps in front of it, and it's cleared. And substitution's going to come in. So we'll see Meadows check out as well as King. Redstack going to check back in on the defensive side for the Hawk, or pardon me, for the Warriors. Here's the throw in. Knocked around, balls loose in the box, and now cleared by Beach. Gingrich has it taken off her toe. It'll go out for a throw in for the Hawks. Twelve and change to go in this one in regulation. The Hawks throwing deep in their own end, trying to make a run here. As they lead Money, Money can't get it. Money then takes it off the head, moves it around, and ball will go out. It'll be another throw in for the Hawks. Throw is knocked around again and now sent right back out of bounds. No, well, I guess it was in. Saved there by Money as we move the other way with Divine. Sent down. Oosterbahn working one-on-one, -on -one, crosses into the box. Coyle clears, and Gingrich can't get to it. It'll roll out for a throw-in. Coyle clears once again, middle of the field. As Money tried to pick that one up. Uh, she was working against Redstat. Middle of the field, cleared, and it's going to go out right at the corner flag for a throw. So 11 and a half to go here. That one's headed towards net, but cleared by lap. Now coming back near side, running through the 50-50 ball there. Now it's sent in, crossed, the ball is loose, still loose, and cleared out. The Worthington Christian fans want a handball. I didn't see one there as it's sent back, and Guzman will grab it this time. Punt is up, trying to find Gingrich. Gingrich can't get to it, and Worthington Christian will go back on the attack. 50-50 ball knocked away, but it'll go out of bounds. A good attempt to save it there from Yoder. Throw in is in. Coming forward is Meadows. It's turning around there was Oosterbahn, and it'll go out for another throw in. Down at the flag. Ten minutes and change to go in this one. So it's knocked around. The Warriors trying to cross it in, offsides. Worthington Christian called offsides five times so far in this match as we are under 10 to play. No goals have been scored since 35 minutes remained in the first half. So the Hawks will put this one back in play, knocked around, and... Picked up for a moment there by Devine. Now it's on the far side. They'll try to chip it in. They do get it into the 18, but Lap going to clear it out on that far sideline. Substitution coming in for Highland. It's Gingrich going to check out. Also going to see Faith King check back in. And also Meadows checking in for... Worthington Christian. And for the Hawks, number one, Chanel Kellogg checks back into the match. So here's the throw. In towards the box, cleared away for a moment, now cleared upfield. 
Money trying to take it away as she shoulders contact. The Worthington Christian fans didn't like it. It's sent right back in. One on one. Ball is loose. So they try to send it out up top. Shot is blocked there, and it'll be sent out and cleared onto the near sideline. Here's the throw in. Highland got a foot on it, cleared up to Money. Money takes a hard touch, and she's dispossessed by King, and King going to be fouled, and that's going to be – this might be the best chance on a set piece that the Warriors will have tonight. We'll see where they – I think the official is going to say the ball goes back to the 20-yard line – or the, where the 20-yard line would be on the football field, so this would be about 30 yards out as it looks – as of now, that is going to be Audrey Meadows to take this kick. Highland with four in the wall just outside the 18. And now they're going to have to back up to the 18. After the official counts off the yardage. So now there are three up there. Oosterbahn. I'd imagine this is Oosterbahn's to take. It's now two Warriors standing in front of the wall. They might even try to go to King, it looks like. As it will be Oosterbahn's to take. They'll play it short back out to Oosterbahn. And what's happening here? So time has been stopped. And a card going to come out against the Hawks for what? Did she come off the line early? Yellow card was handed out on play. Lydia Weaver. Lydia Weaver to take the yellow card. It must have been another foul then up top. That's So she encroached a little bit there after, before the ball was played. But they've moved the ball up to about three yards outside the 18. So... Now, I don't like that when you, know, you could have two players run over the ball and you, then you get a yellow card for encroachment. That's a, that's always an odd thing when you fake that play. So now, again, it'll be Oosterbahn playing it near side. Shot blocked, and it'll be cleared here momentarily. And it's working against it. There is Kellogg. Ball loose. Devine trying to get it in, and she'll send it out for a goal kick. Mass going to check in. Lydia Weaver also checking back in, now playing on that yellow card. First yellow card given in this match. Six and a half to go. Goal kick is knocked down for a second, now put back up into the air on that far sideline and picked up by Worthington Christian. King has it. She's going to dribble in, trying to go one-on-one -on -one with Coyle. Coyle tried to get a foot on it. Ball is loose and picked up. And Faith King fights and knocks it away from behind. Now here's a left-footed shot. Guzman will fall on it and get her fifth save. Divine with another shot. Sent forward and now headed out of bounds. That's going to go out off the head of Britton Kibbe. Uh, Kibbe. We have Hawks throwing. Now a throw in going to go the other way for the Warriors as it went off the Hawks. Headed out again. No stays in. And now trying to get it forward for Kellogg. It knocks around. Now Kellogg fighting for the ball. And Kellogg going to get called for the foul. And we'll go the other way with five minutes to go in this one. one sent forward trying to find King it's going to be headed back to Guzman and she'll grab it smart play there head it back to your keeper or just head it straight up punt goes forward takes a hop and now knocked down for a moment there Beach trying to get it 
working with Yoder. Sent near side now for Meadows. Meadows dispossessed. Sent up to Money. Money got a foot on it, trying to turn around and get possession, and now she's being boxed out. And now she's going to get called for the foul. The Hawk fans on the far side of the field aren't too thrilled with that uh, foul call. Clearance went straight up into the air. Four minutes to go in regulation. They try to get it over to Kellogg. Ball is loose, and it'll go out on the near side for a throw in. So under four to go here in the for in regulation, tied at one. Goes off the yellow line, and I think that might have been out for a throw in. And actually, it's going to go out for a, it's going to be a handball. So a free kick for the Hawks. Slap will have a low driving kick. Oh, my goodness. I, I don't know how that's not a foul. It looks like another check there. That runs through. Sophia Devine ran through the Hawk trying to grab that ball. Now it's picked up on the near side. Hawks have it, will send forward with Kellogg. Kellogg keeps it in play, finds money. Money keeps possession, now sends middle of the field. No one's there. Comes back out, money will pick it back up, now hands it off. Kellogg, no, a shot from distance will be saved. It's the first shot attempted here in the second half by the Hawks. 2.45 to go as Wilson back will put this one in play with the punt. Settled for a moment. Beach working against Devine. Now sent forward. King one-on-one -on -one with Coyle. Now cross. That looks like it was offsides to me, and it will be offsides. She was in an offsides position. It doesn't matter. Once you pass that line, you can't receive a pass. So that is the correct call. If you want to ask me how I know, you can go back to my playing days when I learned that one the hard way. She was in an offside position when she went to grab that cross. That is the correct call. Two minutes to play in the game. Two minutes, Two minutes to play in regulation. As this one cleared up the field trying to find money. Money has the ball knocked down and will go the other way. Now in the middle of the field, sending it forwards, Divine. Divine gets it into the box to Oosterbahn. Oosterbahn crosses to King. And that ball going to be cleared out before any more damage can be done. One and a half to play. Devine now looking to find room. And now it's taken away by Kellogg. Kellogg over to Money. Back to Kellogg. Kellogg comes near side. She's going to send on the far side for Kaufman. Kaufman one-on-one -on -one trying to get into the box. And she'll be cleared. Money behind tries to pick it up. But now picked up by the Hawks with 1.15 to go. Money has it. The Hawks trying to hold on in their offensive end. Now Money going to send Kaufman at the top of the 18. Kaufman coming middle of the field, and she'll have to give it away. Ball in the air. Beach has it. Now sent off a face, it looked like, of King. I think she's okay. But now we'll go the other way. Under a minute to play here in regulation. On the counter goes Worthington Christian. It's a 1-1 tie here. And now that ball picked up, trying to turn it around here is Miller. Miller dispossessed. Lapp will just put this one out. 40 seconds to go. Ball is back. There's another ball in play now. And they have to get that one off before they can throw the new one in. Here's the throw. 30 seconds left. Ball loose in the middle. King has it. King working against three in the box. King trying to get a shot off. Worthington Christian wants a penalty. Ball is loose and the ball is cleared with under 20 seconds to go. It'll go out for a throw-in. As the Hawks had three playing against Faith King on that. And with the ball back in play, four seconds to go. That'll take a hop. Here's a shot at the buzzer, and it is wide. And that's going to take us to the end of regulation. Free soccer again tonight as the Hawks will go into extra time to decide the winner of the district championship. We'll step aside and be back on WKLM.
East Holmes Veterinary Clinic in Berlin and Millersburg also owns Pamper Paws in Millersburg and the Red Rough Rough Inn in Berlin. East Holmes Veterinary Clinic is there for all your pet needs. Whether it is for veterinary services, grooming, or boarding, there is only one place to call. That's East Holmes Veterinary Clinic with locations in Berlin at 893-2057, Millersburg at 674-5591, Pampered Paws 674-7297, or the Red Rough Rough Inn at 893-2057. Stop in today. Hey, Grandpa, how long has Millersburg Tire Service been in business? I can tell you that one, OB. It was all the way back in 1953. That's right, Eva. In fact, that was the year I was born. Wow, I didn't know you were that old, Grandpa. I'll let that one slide, Wyatt. I suppose you're right, though. It's a long time, and I've been proud to help continue the great family tradition of offering great tires and service. And it all started with Great Grandpa Schmucker and Great Great Uncle Miller. That's right, Eva, and we're still strong as ever. And in the best place to live in the world, Holmes County. That's Millersburg Tire Service off State Route 39, east of Millersburg. A single-family home located at 212 Perkins Street in Millersburg is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $159,000. This property was built in 1930 and has two bedrooms and one full bath with 1,152 square feet. Located in the West Hills Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Steve Mogg at 330-763-4769 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. It's finally here. That's right, the MRV Sunning Supply brand new facility is fully open for business and ready to serve you. Just down from the previous location on County Road 624 in Middlesburg, the new state-of-the-art facility provides easier access, along with a larger showroom, more products displayed, and more parking. Stop by and see the new look for yourself at MRV Sunning Supply. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. We're excited to announce that the Commercial and Savings Bank has won the North Coast 99 Award for the sixth year in a row. What does this award mean? A North Coast 99 Award is a recognition for being named one of the 99 great workplaces for top talent in Northeast Ohio. What does this mean for you? It means our core value of valuing employees is more than just words on a page. If you're ready to make an impact in your community and to work with others who have a passion for excellence, service, and growth, we'd love to welcome you to the team. Visit our website site and apply today. The Commercial and Savings Bank, member FDIC, equal opportunity employer. Denco Marketing in Millersburg is accepting applications for a warehouse shipping position. Previous experience is beneficial, however, we'll train the right individual. Hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, with potential for overtime. Requires some heavy lifting, excellent work environment, competitive starting pay, health insurance, IRA retirement plan, with employer match available, paid vacation, and bonus paid yearly. Apply in person or email resume to john at denkomarketing.com. Resumes can also be mailed to operations manager Denko Marketing, P.O. Box 191, Millersburg, Ohio, 44654. Well, folks, if you didn't tune in to the Highland Northridge game the other day and you don't know the high school overtime rules in soccer, allow me to enlighten you a little bit. So uh, it is two 15-minute overtime periods although they are, as they call it, golden goal. So if you score, the game or the match is over. Uh, so you don't have to play the second if you score in the first. You don't have to play the rest of the second if you score in the beginning of the second. If we are still tied after 30 extra minutes of soccer, we will go to a shootout, a five versus five shootout. If we're still tied after that, I believe we just go 1-1 one, one until someone misses on the shootout. Is it 5-5? Five and five? You still go 5-5. Five and five. I'm thinking hockey rules on that one. So 5-5 five and five until someone uh, wins if we go to a shootout. So, well, we'll tell you how we got here real quick. The first goal came... With 35-38 remaining in the first half. It's, it's been a while, folks. Thanks for sticking with us. As that one would be scored by McLean Oosterbaum uh, off an assist from her teammate, Caitlin Fields. That made it 1-0. 
although it wouldn't be 1-0 for long, less than 30 seconds even, as Macy Money would get this uh, pass from Kaufman, and she'd be able to take it in on her right foot and score the game-tying goal. And that's how we got to 1-1, and since then it's been uh, just about 70-ish minutes of scoreless soccer. So 15 minutes on the clock here in the first golden goal overtime period. The Hawks will kick off to start it, and they are attacking right to left over your radio dial, left to right. And go the Warriors. And I'd imagine we'll see the old college kickoff play in attempt here. It's Macy Money in the circle to get this one going. So we wait our referee's whistle. He gets the thumbs up. And we are set to go. Money to pass it back. And they'll boot this one forward down towards the 18. Takes a hop. Now Kaufman trying to get around it. She's edged off the play and will come back up towards midfield. Turning around his mast. She'll get it cleared back up towards Kaufman. It'll go out off a warrior and it'll be a throw in in front of their bench for the Hawks. Mass to take the throw in as the Hawks going to try to work quickly down inside the 18 yard box. As here's the throw in. Money chips it back in towards the middle of the field where it's knocked down and eventually picked up for a moment there before Coyle clears it back down into the offensive third for the Hawks. It'll be cleared away as no one was there. Is now Lap going to come back and gain possession of this ball and now sends it out on that far sideline to stop the run. Jake Seidel with you here doing the play-by-play -play duties. Thanks for joining us tonight. Casey Claxon, our producer on the video side, Andrew Dunlap, our videographer, and Bella Gindelsberger back running the board at WKLM Sports Central. Throw in is into the box. Ball is loose, stepped aside, and now cleared for a moment, but the keeper's out. Guzman gets back into her crease. The shot's going her way. Now one-on-one. -on -one. Here's a shot over the end line. So a goal kick. There were two attempts there as it went in. First attempt blocked. Cleared for a moment. Guzman had to get back to her line. And the kick attempt from up top, the shot attempt, runs wide. This one sent in the air up and over. Beach going to end up settling it after a touch. Now Kaufman back to the middle of the field. Trying to find her teammate. I believe she's trying to find Miller. And now a foul going to go against Worthington Christian. Now a handball to call. Trying to find Kaufman quickly here. A missed touch is Beach going to try to run up on the 50-50 ball. Now Mass has it. Finds Beach. Beach coming near side to Kaufman. Kaufman. Looking to turn, goes middle of the field. Her pass intercepted, and we're going the other way on a counter attempt. A good stop there to stop the fast break. They go far side. As clearing that one forward, Yoder, Bryn Yoder. Middle of the field now. As this one chips towards the sideline by Beach, and it'll stay inbounds off a chip off of the Warriors. High in the air, 50-50 ball, knocked down, Coyle. Coyle gets beat, one-on-one, -on -one. just the keeper to beat, runs it wide off the shot there from Caitlin Fields. She had everyone beat after Coyle's missed touch, and she just puts it to the left. And Coyle just misread that. And the Hawks, lucky that one went to the far side of that net. Ball is in the air, takes a hop towards Fields. And now a big hit, a foul, wanting to be called by our assistant referee. Oh, my goodness. So a foul going against the Hawks, called by the assistant referee on the sideline. That one's put up in the air, knocked around. Still not settled. Is Kaufman going to send this one up? It's off ahead. Money's going to try to come collective, but it's cleared forward. Lap stepping in front there. 
of Oosterbahn. And now the Warriors pick up possession on the far sideline once again. Middle of the field now for Redstat as they're just going to try to send this one down into the offensive zone. Fields picks it up. Fields dispossessed by Coyle as it goes out for a throw-in on the near side. 10.45 to go here in this first golden goal overtime period. Don't forget, well, I guess now we're going to have a little bit of a late, we might have a little bit of a later start now between Highland and Worthington Christian on the boys' side. You'll be able to hear that game on FM 95.3 as well as on the WKLM YouTube page. As that ball cleared out again, it'll be another throw-in on this near side. Taking that throw-in are the Warriors with Kibbe. That time he's going to run out, but it'll go off a hawk once again. Is King going to take the throw-in? Three fouls have been called on Worthington Christian. I believe all three have been on King. So here's the throw. Knocked away for a moment, now cleared out. Slow roller, and it'll go out for a throw-in. Again for Worthington Christian. Meadows to take the throw-in, trying to get it into the box. She does. They try a bicycle kick, now this one cleared forward. Cleared into the middle of the field. Now one-on-one -on -one ball collected by the Warriors in the middle there. I believe that was home. And now back to Redstat. Middle of the field now King working on it, and she's cleared away as they go up top to Money. Money trying to go outside one-on-one. -on -one. She gets hit, checked, and the foul going to go against Worthington Christian. So the free kick going to go from just behind midfield. 8.50 to go in this one. And if you're the Hawks, this is your opportunity. You got to take it. So it's put in the air. In the middle now. Right side, Money going back towards the middle. Shot is, I don't know if that was a shot or attempt to pass, but Kaufman has it now on the near side. She tries to turn around, and she's dispossessed. And a player down in the box will bring out the trainer. Didn't catch what happened there, but getting up and coming off under her own power. And I believe she has to come off since the clock was stopped for her. And she will. Coming off is going to be Sophia Devine. Mass will check in for her. So it'll be a drop ball. Possession will be held on to. It's sent forward, knocked down, picked up by Mass. Mass going to send it right back in. Ponged the other way. Takes a jump in now, trying to head it the other way are the Hawks. Coming near side now, though. It's Meadows. Meadows. Tries to cross or cross a bit offline, and now Meadows will give it up to uh, Oosterbahn. Who I don't know if that was a cross or a shot attempt. Either way, it died, and it will be picked up by Guzman. Guzman with the punt. Beach going to try to settle this one. It goes off ahead, and now it will be sent forward to the back line of the Warriors. Booted forward after it's settled. It's going to run, but not far enough to get out of bounds. So once again, it's Oosterbahn. We'll send it. Uh, Guzman's going to come out and grab it. Seven twenty to go in this one as that one's headed down. Cleared for a moment. Now Beach has it. She's going to try to come near side to Kaufman. That pass intercepted. Now sent. Into the box, and Guzman will just come out, let it roll to her, and she'll pick it up. Punt is in the air. Takes a hop. Kalog trying to settle it as she gets pushed past. 
And now clearing it are the Hawks up to Money. Money has a touch on it. Ball is loose. Now Money going to get it on the outside. Money just sending in towards the crease. One-on-one -on -one as Kaufman comes into the box, and Wilson will just pick it up at the top of her 18 and punts this one away. Headed on that far sideline. King has it, looks to make a move. They'll try to send King now, and it'll be knocked away. Back up to Kellogg at midfield. Now Money. Money trying to turn around on it. And she falls down. Possession goes the other way. It's in the middle. Now sent forward for Kaufman. Kaufman tries to get a touch on it. It runs outside and now cleared out. Some contact on the ball. And now a pass trying to go back to the middle and cleared again. This time by Retstat. Middle of the field. King now looking to turn this around. Goes to the far sideline. Look to clear it forward. And she'll get it down, and it'll go out for a Hawks throw in deep in their own defensive end. Five and a half to go here in the first overtime period. Next goal wins it as it goes out of bounds, and substitution's coming in. Substitution. We're going to see Divine check in along with Julia Grant. So about five minutes left when we get this ball back in. It's Faith King throws it into the middle of the field to Mass. Now back to King on the sideline. King working against Kellogg, and Kellogg will dispossess her as King tried to bounce it off her. Money now off a of shin guard. Beach will try to clear it. Now sent back down. High bounce into the box, and Guzman will grab this one near the side of her 18 and walk it up. We're under five to play here in the first overtime period, still tied at one. Haven't had a goal since 35-17 left in the first half. So here's the throw from Mast. Got it into Kaufman. Kaufman couldn't settle it. Sent into the middle of the field. Now cleared forward, trying to turn it around and just send it was Miller. And now they will send it. Money working one-on-one -on -one to get it. She will get it, but it's going to roll out. Who's it going to go off of? And it's going to go off of the Hawks, they say. So it's quickly thrown in there up top to Grant. And now out again, and it'll be a throw-in once again for the Warriors. 4.05 to go. So it takes a hop. Now Coyle turning around, and a foul going to be called against Worthington Christian. Here's the kick. It's in the air. Takes a bounce. Kaufman has it looking to turn around, and she'll flip it on the right side trying to get it to Kellogg. Now sent forward. Kaufman trying to send herself there. She'll send it in on net. Coming out and making the save there is going to be Wilson. I think that was supposed to be a cross, but it ended up going on net and having to die for it was Wilson. Is that one taken away by Beach at midfield? Now trying to go on the near side over to Miller. Picked up, though, and Kibbe will put it up to midfield and now sent past, and it'll just be sent out of harm's way there by Coyle. Under three to go here in the first overtime period. Tied at one. That one cleared again. Now knocked down, trying to send it back in. Ball loose, and Coyle will step in front of it. And I think she was offside. They're going to say she was onside that time. And it'll go out for a goal kick as the ball was juggled by Oosterbahn. Oosterbahn got behind the line, and she did start that run from an onside position. Now, so she had me fooled on that one, and... Her shot just off the side of the net. Sent forward once again. Now goes backwards off the header. Picked up by Kaufman and now sent back in. It'll go out for a Warrior, a Hawks throwing in front of the Warriors bench. Two minutes to go in the first overtime period. Money with the throw in, trying to get it down into the box. She does. Tipped up 
goes through the legs of Money and now sent forward. And it's going to be one-on-one -on -one Coil looking to head this one away. And she will clear it out. Chasing there was Oosterbond. Here's the throw again, trying to find Oosterbahn, and it'll just go straight out again. One and a half to play here in overtime period number one. They'll flip it forward this time for Grant. Grant right at the line, and it'll be out for a corner kick. Corner kick. To their eighth corner kick. One minute to play here. And let's see if they try to play it short again. They will. So they'll send this in on the second cross. Miss there. King on the far side puts it in. Save made. Six saves now for Guzman. High in the air. Money trying to keep it in, and she can't. 42 seconds to go in this one. The Hawks... Going to settle in here and try to keep it a one-goal match. So it's thrown in there, knocked around. Ball is loose. Coyle trying to fend off Oosterbahn. One-on-one in the box, and it's going to go out for another corner. Fifteen seconds to go here. The corner, it comes in. Coyle heads it away, and that's going to do it for the first overtime period. Now five seconds left. They'll send it right back into the box, knocked around, and we're going to have a second overtime period. No goals have been scored again since the first half with 35 minutes left. We'll go ahead and step aside and be back with the second overtime period coming your way next on WKLM. Located in the rolling hills of Holmes County, Kime Home Center is the destination and trusted source for your home building and woodworking needs. They are dedicated to caring for each project like they care for their own. Kime offers free next day delivery on an unmatched selection of stock items within their local delivery area. Shop a growing selection of products available online at kime.express or call to place your order today. Yes, you heard right. You can place your local delivery order online at kime.express. Kime built on trust since 1911. Stop in all this week for these great deals at Rody's IGA Marketplace. Get 81% lean ground chuck for $3.49 a pound, beef loin bullet strip steak for $8.99 a pound, and a three-pound bag of balanced assorted variety apples for $2.99. They also have beef shoulder bullet English roast for $3.99 a pound, beef shoulder bullet English steak for $4.19 a pound, and pork shoulder western ribs for $1.79 a pound. Don't forget to call 674-7075 for meat, cheese, and party platters at Rody's IGA. If you need hauling done, then go with a place that will leave a legacy at Legacy General Hauling. Whether it's commercial or residential, Legacy General Hauling is an independent contractor allowing them to do custom hauling for any of their customers. They have semi-truck and trailers for hauling equipment, telehandlers, man lifts, and more. They can even spread gravel for driveways. They have single-axle, A-tandem, and tri-axle dump trucks. That's Legacy General Hauling on County Road 201 between Middlesburg and Berlin. Give them a call at 330-204-5003. That's 330-204-5003. Untangling your headphones, finding the right remote, saying goodbye to your favorite shirt that hasn't fit in 10 years. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto Owners works with independent agents who live in your community and answer when you call, so you can worry about more important things, like finding a new favorite shirt. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Orville, Wadsworth, and Worcester today at HummelGRP.com. Overtime, period two. Fifteen minutes on the clock. If we're still tied after this one, we go to a shootout. Jake Seidel with you this evening. And don't forget... Coming up, well, it was scheduled for a 7 o'clock kickoff. It might be a little bit later now. The matchup between these two schools' boys' team for their district championship. Worthington Christian to start with the ball on this one. 
So it's going to be Faith King in the circle to start this one, and we'll see if they try the kickoff play. It looks like they will as they send it back, and they'll send it, try to send it right back on the near side. They get it to Meadow and cleared by Lap. Up top, a hard touch there, but sent forward there to Holm. Ball dispossessed, and now they'll come back near side to Holm. Holm going to try to get it into King at the box, but Coyle gets a foot on it. Ball's loose again in the midfield. A shot from distance, save made by Guzman. So far in this contest, 11 more shots for the Warriors than the Hawks. The Hawks only had one in the first overtime and one in the second half. Zavall's loose, knocks back, and the Warriors going to try to attack again. King working against Coyle on the far side. King getting an angle. Now Coyle steps in front, grabs the ball, and it looks like we're going to have a foul going to go against King. Foul number six against Worthington Christian. It's the ball in the air. Trying to tip it forward, and they will send it forward again on the near side. Turning around and now bringing it back towards midfield as they pass it back. Trying to find Gingrich, but the ball went to the middle of the field, not the right side. Back to Coyle. Coyle got a foot on it. But now he'll turn around. A chase is underway. Coyle just going to send it out of harm's way. Bounced in off the throw. Coyle clears. It'll go out again on that far sideline. 13 minutes remaining here in the second overtime period. Throw in there, knocked around, and that will be right on the line and knocked out by Highland. Thrown in once again by the Warriors and back up top. Here's a cross in. King couldn't get it off the head, and now here's the chance to clear, and it is cleared up to midfield. One-on-one, -on -one. Gingrich going to try to come up and get it. Gingrich running through the 50-50 ball. A good defensive uh, move there by Anna Meadows. 50-50 ball taken away that time. An awkward clearance, and now the ball's still loose. Gingrich trying to come up on it. But now near side, and it'll be sent out as Devine sends it off of Bryn Yoder there. Here's the throw in for Meadows. Trying to find King. King in the box. Looking to turn. Now clears it up top. Here's Meadows. Meadows with a right foot shoots off ahead, and it'll go out over the line for a free kick. Or pardon me, a goal kick. Substitution to come in. Chanel Kellogg will check in and give Gingrich a breather on this near side. There's the kick off a of foot now going back, headed away by Lap, and now banged forward there by Beach. Now turn around, and the ball turned around there. Holm trying to turn it around again. Holm fouled. So that'll be a free kick. Mount 50 yards out. Here's the attempt with the left foot. It's in there and cleared out of the box. Turning around, there's Meadows. Meadows, or Meadows gets it on the near side. Now here's a shot coming. Or was that a cross? That was a cross. The crash didn't come in time. And Guzman will hold on to it. Takes a hop. And now skied into the air. Lap will try to settle it, but it'll go right out. 
to Divine. Divine working one-on-one -on -one will turn. And Divine called for the foul. She was grabbing on to Beach. Against the Warriors, direct kick to the Hawks. Under 10 to play in the second and final overtime period. If we're still dead knotted after this one, we will go to a shootout. One in the air. Bounced up. And knocked away. Will be cleared out on the far side for a Hawks throw in. You have to think at some time here, the offense is going to get a little wiped out for Worthington Christian. Highlands offense hasn't seen a whole lot of action down in their offensive end tonight as Money takes a run and throws it in. Trying to head it forward there. Ball is loose. And now trying to turn around there is Beach. It'll be sent near side. For Meadows, Meadows looking to turn it around. She'll put it down one-on-one. -on -one. Lap with the clearance. It goes off the foot there of Julia Grant and out for a Hawks throw-in deep in their own territory. Takes a bounce and now sent forward and headed back by Lap. King going to come in, try to grab this one. She will. King looking down towards the goal, the end line, and it'll roll out for a goal kick. Goal kick for the Hawks. So here's the goal kick, a low one, as now it's going to be taken away by Divine. Into the box, Guzman will come out and pick that one up. Under eight to play now here in the second overtime period. That punt off ahead. Now back, Coyle going to try to run through a 50-50 ball, knocked around, and will go far side, picked up by the Warriors before it was be passed over to Kaufman on the far sideline. Kaufman one-on-one -on -one up the far touch line, trying to turn around. And pass it into the middle. Now sent forward, trying to find money. So it'll be picked up now by King. King going to send this one. And it'll just be lazily dropped into the 18-yard box and picked up by Guzman. Guzman going to try the near side this time. And her punt deflected. And it will stay inbounds. No, it will go out of bounds for a Hawks throw in. As of the throw, off the foot of Kellogg, now near side. Here's Meadows going into the middle for Devine. Devine looking for King. Lap steps up from behind, 50-50 ball, and knocked it away. Now kicked forward. Money has it. Money trying to maintain possession, and it'll drop back. Six and a half to play now. This one sent forward for Kaufman. Pass was a little offbeat. Now Coyle just going to boot this one high in the air. Settled for a moment there, and now Beach will pick it up in midfield for the Hawks. Coming near side to Kellogg. Kellogg going to go back to Beach on the cross and cleared out top once again. So the Hawks trying to move it forward. Sophie King comes back to steal it and trying to move forward once again. She'll send forward. One-on-one -on -one keeper versus, and oh, Guzman comes out. What a grab there. She went down outside the box, makes contact with her feet. And that is, that is one heck of a play by the keeper, Guzman. The Worthington Christian fans wanted a foul there. That's a bang-bang play. Guzman definitely made the right call to meet where the ball was going to be as the ball knocked out of bounds once again. Five and a half to play. Here's the throw in from Money. Cleared up. King has it. King 
We'll give a one-on-one -on -one once again. And again, Guzman going to come off her crease and boot this one forward. They try to turn around, and now here's the high kick from Lap. Takes a hop, moved around, and they'll try moving it up again. Under five to play. Into the box, Guzman comes out, and she'll grab it. Guzman with nine saves in this match. Four and a half to play and substitutions coming in. See Katie Mass check in once again. The throw in is grabbed and now booted down on the sideline trying to find King. Faith King sends it in and now back out King. Trying to keep that ball in and it'll go out off King for a throw in. Hawks throw in. Sent straight ahead, no one there in space for the Hawks. It's three and a half to play. Kaufman runs through and a advantage being played on the pass, on the foul in the back line by Kaufman, who just kind of ran over to the fender. Coil to send forward. Ball is loose and now almost cleared. Now Beach comes out to clear it. Kellogg going to let it roll over. And we're going to have a yellow card coming out for Kaufman on the challenge back here. That's the sign of a good referee right there. He played advantage on the foul and comes back to the yellow card. And, and I think that's more of an accumulation than anything. It wasn't an extremely vicious hit. With 321 left in overtime. So hopefully the Hawks going to look to try to get one thing. And do we have an injured player as well, it looks like. It looks like Coyle dealing with a little bit of an injury. But I don't think she'll have to come out since the Play was stopped for the or time was stopped for the yellow card, not the injury. It's Coach Lee. He's gonna end up walking coil off, it looks like. So 321. It's Maya Miller and Emily Gingrich check in. Throw in as the ball brought in and now headed down. Saved for a moment there by Divine. A cross caught by Guzman. 314 to go. Kaufman has come back up. It's knocked down. Now sent forward. Ball loose. Coming near side again. They try to find Meadows, but it will run out too far on the attempt. So Coyle and Kaufman checking back in. So now Kaufman and Leet Weaver both playing with a yellow card. That one bounced off, and Money keeps it inbounds for a moment, but Kellogg won't be able to pull it in. 2.20 remaining in this second overtime period. The throw-in goes into the box, and it's cleared away momentarily, and it will go out for a throw-in on the near side. It's a 1-1 lead, as, or 1-1 score, I should say, as that clear, throw-in cleared up again. It's now Money. Going to try to pick up this ball. Stepping in on the near side. Now Coyle. Coyle gets uh, wrapped up. Offsides the call, though. As Faith King came from an offsides position.
One and a half to play now here in the second overtime period. It'll be offsides. The Hawks going to try one last push here. As Lap puts that one in the air, it's settled. Knocked down. And coming the other way, knocked it down again. Beach trying to turn around. Has Kellogg. Kellogg can't get to it. They'll come back and put this one in the air. Guzman will come in and lay down on it. A punt into the air as we're under a minute to play in the second overtime period. Again, picking up possession are the Warriors. Turning around and trying to make some funky moves in the middle there. And a foul going to go against. I don't know why they're I don't know why the fans are so upset. You could see the push from up here. 30 seconds to go. And then we go into every goalie's worst nightmare. A penalty shootout. High in the air. That one's bounced forward. Beach trying to get possession. Worthington Christian going to try to have one more run. Meadows has it. Meadows. Just fires straight on Guzman. Guzman picks it up. It's her 10th save. And, folks, we are going to a penalty shootout. So we will step aside and come back with the first penalty after this on WKLM. Clark Fowler Electric Motors and Supplies has been striving to provide the area's best in electric motor services and power transmission needs since 1995. Hi, this is former West Holmes quarterback Noah Clark, and with over 120 years of combined experience in electric motor repairs and service, the staff at Clark Fowler can provide unmatched 24-hour emergency services and rapid turnaround. Clark Fowler Electric is the area's leader in electric motor repair, products, parts, and on-site services. If you need custom solutions for your electric motors, factory, or business, contact Clark Fowler Electric at 330-262-0906 or visit our website at clarkfowlerelectric.com. Go Knights! Are you finally ready to start hearing better? Hear Inc. has been serving the Holmes County area for over 20 years and believes everyone deserves exceptional hearing health care. This is audiologist Dr. Justin Garion, and we will provide a complete range of hearing services, including hearing aid fitting and repair and other hearing loss solutions. The Hear Inc. Berlin Clinic is located inside East Holmes Family Care on Dalby Lane or on the web at hearinc.com. Call us at 234-224-1124. That's 234-224-1124. Hear Inc. Join the conversation. Well, 30 minutes of extra time wasn't enough for these two teams to decide the district championship, so we go to penalty shootout. Jake Seidel with you this evening, and I'd like to also invite you to stay tuned. Uh, we'll have a second stream coming up here in just a little bit. Stay tuned if you're listening on FM 95.3. Uh, for the Highland boys taking on Worthington Christian, that game's scheduled to start at 7 o'clock. It's not going to start at 7 o'clock after we've uh, run over our time on the girls' side just a little bit. So the way this is going to work, each team will have five players attempt a penalty kick. If we are still tied after the five kicks, so both teams make and miss the same amount of kicks after five kickers, then we will go sudden death shootout. Each team will send one to attempt to end the game. And I say sudden death, I don't really mean that if the first, if the top of the uh, shootout hits it and the bottom misses it, that would be it or vice versa. But we've got each team will have five players to start. The goalkeepers, Guzman and Wilson, are getting some warm-ups as we get set for this sudden, well, not sudden, I keep wanting to say sudden death shootout. No, it's we, we had our golden goal overtimes. Now it's a... Five-on-five five shootout to determine who is crowned the district champion. 
if this is any preview to what uh, game two of our doubleheader today is going to look like, you're not going to want to miss any of that one. They're going over the rules here, and now the coin toss. Highland will get to call the toss. We'll see what they decide to do. And Worthington Christian has won the toss, so you'd imagine they would choose to shoot second. And now it's just a matter of which goal we're going to shoot at. The captains break, and we get set to go. So five players on each side will have a chance to come forward and be the hero. Five on five shootout. Always probably one of the most exciting things to happen in soccer, honestly. Uh, you know, you play, uh, especially in like World Cup competition, you'll play through all the extra time. Even if someone scores, it's not a golden goal in the international sides. But then you'll go to that shootout and the amount of excitement uh, on each side. And even going back to my high school career, uh, sitting Right at midfield, watching my teammates taking those shoot, uh, penalty shootouts. It's something that makes your heart skip. Both these teams have worked extra hard to get here today. Two goals were scored in this match, both in the first half at 35-38. The first one was scored by McLean uh, Oosterbahn. This one by the Hawks would be scored less than 30 seconds later by Macy Money. And here's the Oosterbahn goal as they get the pass across and Oosterbahn just connects. And we'll look at the uh, Kaufman, uh, money from Kaufman goal here as Kaufman able to get the ball, drives into the 18, now crosses it over, and money able to find money and put it in the back of the net to make it 1-1. Those goals came less than 30 seconds apart. And then we went... A long time. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had a goal, folks. And it looks like we're going to shoot on the left side goal. So we'll see who gets sent out first by the Hawks. Well, it'll be the goaltenders both being sent down first. All kicks will take place in the so North Guzman goal. and Wilson, the goalkeepers. Let's see here. Uh, looks as though Worthington Christian has elected to kick first. It's not something you see very often in the shoot-off uh, attempts. And who's going to come for this kick? Audrey Meadows to kick first. Guzman on her line. Meadows versus Guzman, round one. Meadows takes her attempt. Save made by Guzman! Saved by Guzman. 
and the keeper stands strong. What a attempt here. That was a great strike. Guzman just able to dive to her right and get it. What an incredible save. And now it's going to be Wilson's turn. Macy Money going to attempt it. Money had the lone goal for the Hawks tonight. And she lines straight up here. Money with the whistle. Shoots, scores! So Money with a shootout goal. And Highland with the advantage early. And she just saw that she was going to her left and goes straight on and fools Amelia Wilson. So Highland. Advantage with one goal in the shootout. The next shooter for Worthington Christian is number 19, McLean Oosterbond. McLean Oosterbond. She had the goal tonight for Worthington Christian. She'll line up as a right-footed hitter, awaits the whistle. Here's Oosterbond's shot. Went over top of the keeper, Guzman, and she will get that one. Tied at one. I believe that's going to be Kaufman coming in. You look here, Oosterbond just went right over top of Guzman. Kate Kaufman had an assist in tonight's match. She's Highland's leader in goals on the season. As she'll line up to take this shootout kick. Here it comes. Goal! Kaufman scores and makes it 2-1 in the second round of the shootout. Kaufman again. Faked left, and that was just enough for Wilson to get out of it. Get out of the way of it, I should say. It's taking the penalty now for Worthington Christian is going to be Sophia Devine. The next shooter for the Warriors, number 11, Sophia Devine. Devine showing a left-footed shot. She steps forward, and she will score. So 2-2 two, two now. As she able, she's able to pull it to her right and get it right past the stretch of Guzman. Now shooting for Highland, going to be Kaylin Miller. Kaylin Miller showing a right-footed shot. Miller steps into it. Goal! Goal. Huh. At the end of three rounds, it's three to two. A great shot there by Miller. Annie Retstat now to shoot. Annie Retstat. Shows right footed. Here's her shot. Oh, she missed. She put it over. The Hawks can end it with a goal here.
put it over the bar. And the Hawks could win it here if they score their fourth goal on this shootout. Lydia Weaver. With the Hawks leading three to two in PKs. Weaver has to wait for the whistle. Here's the whistle. Weaver shoots. Highland wins! Highland wins! And that is the ball game, everyone. Highland wins. They tied it within 30 seconds of falling behind, and they'll win in PKs 4-2. to two. We'll step aside and come back and wrap it up for you next on WKLM. Get financial solutions when you need it from Dave Stable Financial Services. After winning six state championships as a head basketball coach, Dave Stable knows that planning, preparation, and hard work can lead to success. And the same can be applied to your financial future. Whether you are a young adult, individual, family, or a business, Dave Stable Financial Services will establish financial goals and income protection. Contact Dave Stable Financial Services at 893-1900, located at 4585 State Route 39, Millersburg. Securities offered through ON Equity Sales Company, member FINRA SIPC. Well, we'll come back and wrap this one up, and let's replay that game-winning goal off the foot of Lydia Weaver in the shootout here as the Hawks getting set for their medal ceremony. Weaver putting it in the upper 90, and she runs to celebrate with her team. The final score in this one, the Hawks won one, or the Hawks won Worthington Central one. The Hawks win 4-2 to two in PKs, and there was not a goal <laughs> For over 80 minutes, almost 80 minutes in this game, uh, the last goal was scored with 35 minutes left in the first half. Uh, and we'll tell you a little bit about those goals. The first one was by McLean Oost, uh, Oosterbond. She'd score with 35, 38 left to take the 1-0 lead early for Worthington Central. Macy Money would tie it at 35-17 off the assist from Kaufman. No goals would be scored in the second half or either overtime period. Highland would win it after shootout goals by Macy Money, Kate Kaufman, Kaylin Miller, and Lydia Weaver. And that will we'll show it again. Just... A heartbreaking way to lose, but a exhilarating way to win. Is here's the shootout again. As there's a great save by Guzman there, off the attempt from Amy Meadows who tried to get it into the left. Then the goal there, my money, a goal made that time by Oosterbon. Once again, making it is Kate Kaufman there. That made it two to one. Devine would put it in the back of the net to make it 2-2, and then Highland again would score off the foot of Kaylin Miller to make it 3-2. This miss was crucial from Annie Rettstad as it set up a, a chance to win it on the fourth kick as Lydia Weaver would put it in to, the, to her right up at the crossbar to finish this one in penalties. 1-1, one, 4-2. One, Take a few look at some final numbers in this one. One goal in the game on four shots from Highland. They had five corner kicks, committed 11 fouls. Two yellow cards, one given to Lydia Weaver for encroachment at seven minutes remaining in the second half, and one giving at 30, uh, 320, 321 in the second overtime period for accumulation. That one given to Kate Kaufman. On the other side, one goal on 16 shots, nine corner kicks, and eight fouls committed by the Warriors. They had were called offside seven times. Itzela Guzman would get 10 saves in the 
regulation plus overtime. <laughs> and she'd get one save in the shootout. Meanwhile, Amelia Wilson would have three saves in regulation and overtime and none in the shootout. That's going to just about do it for us here as we're actually going to go ahead and we'll show you the medal ceremony here from uh, Highland. When your name is called, please step forward to accept your medal. Ali Hershberger. Meet the money. Thank you for watching. Danae Shagel. McKenna Slayball. Bryn Coyle. Bryn Yoder. Kaylin Miller. Rachel Anderson. Brianna Lees. Emily Gurich. Adeline Reisner. Alexa Guzman. Lydia Weaver. Kate Kaufman. Lydia Mass. Chloe Beach. Maya Miller. Kristen Miller. Kylie Lapp. Chanel Kellogg. And Itzel Guzman. A fantastic match played on both sides by both these teams uh, between the Warriors of Worthington Christian and the Highland Hawks. The Hawks will move on to 15-3-1 and, and move into regional play. Meanwhile, the Warriors will fall to 14-4-2. And, and their season ends here at Veterans Field. As they are going to receive the district championship trophy. And let me tell you, folks, this team does not give up. This is, it's nice to get a trophy at districts, but the way this team plays defensively, just keep that ball away from the net at all costs. This is a, might not be the only trophy this team wins this season. Don't forget. District championship number two between Highland and Worthington Christian coming up on the boys' side here in just a little bit. The final score in this one, 1-1 one, one between the Hawks and the Warriors. The Hawks winning 4-2 on PKs. A few thank yous to send out before we sign off. Casey Claxon, our producer tonight, Andrew Dunlap, our videographer, and Bella Gindelsberger back at WKLM Sports Central. We'll see you in just a little bit for the boys matchup between these two sides here on WKLM. Thank you for watching High School Soccer from FM 95.3 WKLM. Tonight's game has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications.